Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a very special stream. Hope you all are doing well. We are back at it with the three-year stream anniversary special, which is absolutely crazy that I've been streaming for three years. Shut up, sound alerts. Uh, my first stream ever was on June 15th, 2020, so three years and one day ago, but I figured doing a special stream on a Thursday wouldn't make a lot of sense, so we're doing it on Friday. Uh, I don't know how many people were there. It was the most scuffed stream ever. I started from very scuffed origins. It was a test stream. I didn't even have a capture card at the time. So I just decided to mess around with the game I'd been playing recently, which was VVV VVV. And, um, I didn't know, like, how to capture audio at the time. I just kind of assumed it would work automatically. And the sound quality sounded fine when I didn't have headphones on, so I wasn't even wearing headphones. I was using the built-in mic of my computer. Ugh. I want to just play the Star Festival, because that's a good intro, but I have to, like, constantly... I've had to click it, like, three times while loading up stream. Anyways... It was the most scuffed stream ever, um, because I, I think I was, I was using my built-in, uh, built-in audio for my computer, so I'm pretty sure that it was, like, picking up the fan. It was picking up game audio, which I heard fine, but the game audio was through the microphone, so the whole thing was scuffed. Hi there, Raj, and welcome back to the stream, hope you're doing well. Uh, and at the end of it, I raided Evan, who was having massive stream issues and was on, like, a five-minute delay functionally, so... It was the most fucked up stream ever, but somehow, I am still here, three years later, streaming, despite the most scuffed origins, because... Even with how bad that stream was, like, functionally, I had a lot of fun with it, and I'm still having fun with it, which is why I'm still here today. We're going to be playing a lot of 3D Mario today. Hey there, Toby. Welcome back to the stream. Please don't eat rocks. That does not sound good for you. We're going to be playing a lot of 3D Mario. Uh, if you want to see the exact stuff I'm doing, you can type rules. But we're doing, quote-unquote, 100% of the 3D Mario series. I own eight different 3D Mario games. Three of them, you know, are on screen here. There's also... 3D World and Bowser's Fury, which I'm counting as two separate games, along with Odyssey, 64DS, and Galaxy 2. And I'm going to be getting, quote-unquote, 100% in them. How many times am I going to have to reselect the song I want playing during the intro? Uh, I'm going to be getting, quote-unquote, 100% in them uh, by getting 1 8th, or 12.5%, of the major collectibles, kind of the things the game keeps track of as countable collectibles, in each of the separate games. So, uh, yeah, the exact things of what I'm going to be getting are in the description. For Mario 64, there's just stars, so we're going to be getting, uh, 15 of 120 stars. I am also going to make a prediction, because I don't really know how long this will take. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it up to a prediction how long this will take, and what I'm going to compare it to is last year. So will this be faster than last year? So last year, uh, and I'm going to put 3 minute prediction, which is live now. So last year I did, can I beat 6 Mario games in 6 hours? And the answer was, maybe if I played better, but with how I played I could not. It took me 6 hours 36 minutes. And that I think is a pretty reasonable target for this stream. 6 hours is about 45 minutes per game. Some will be faster than that, like 64, 64 DS, Bowser's Fury are all going to be relatively quick. Some will be slower, like uh, Galaxy 2 will be very slow. Odyssey will be pretty slow because that's 110 moons. So I don't know how long this is going to take, so I'll, I'll make a prediction. I'll have it running for half an hour just to see kind of what people think. But... We're doing this all off fresh files, by the way. No, like, Zero Star file in 64 DS. No Luigi file in Galaxy. Hey, all off fresh Mario. files. Because that feels the most pure. Hello. I do have a timer. Uh, so let me pull that up so I can actually split. Three years of the Apple Army, indeed. So, we're going to start with Mario 64. We got to get 15 of the 120 stars. Hopefully this doesn't take too long. I'm not the best at this game, but I'm not the... I, I, haven't, I don't think I've ever actually streamed this game. Of all of the games that we're going to be playing tonight, I think this is the only one I have never streamed before. I mean, I've definitely streamed 3D World. Actually, yeah. I mean, Raja, I've streamed it with her. Uh, 
I and I've also raced with Evan. Actually, most of these I've raced with Evan. I've raced Sunshine, both Galaxies, Odyssey, 3D, World Bowser Fury. Yeah, I think every except for 64DS, every single game on here, aside from 64 and 64DS, I have raced specifically with Evan. Um, one of them was with other people also. But Mario 64, I've never played on stream. As you can see, I have uh, 120 star this game once. And one time when my computer was in the shop, I was bored and needed something to do, so I did 70 stars. I think it took like two and a half, three hours. Hopefully 15 takes less proportionally, but we're gonna get started with this multi-Mario marathon in three, two, one, go. My fucking Mario 64 DS brain expected me to be playing immediately. Because I'm used to loading zero star files that I was genuinely not expecting there to be a cutscene. Great start. Oh, see, yeah, those, those 3D World Online streams were some of the most fun streams I've ever done, I think. We've, had a, we've done a lot of good streams. Um, Thank you, everybody, so much. I mean, I'll probably say this again at the end and just be super sappy about it like I was last year, but thank you, everybody, so much for supporting, especially if you've, you know, been on stream before. Um, it's been a lot of fun, as I said. Even though, even with how scuffed and how frustrating things have been over the years, I'm still here. Yeah, I didn't even bother going for a lack of just skip. I was no way... I knew there was no way that was ever going to work. Still here three years later. You can't... Can't kill me yet. Yahoo! Also, I know long jumping is not the fastest movement in this game, but it's just my instinct because, again, 64 DS brain. Yahoo! Nice bonk. Yahoo! I didn't even get into a level before I bought. That's another good question. How many times will I bonk this stream? It's gonna be a large number. Okay. I'm not doing bomb clip either. I haven't really thought about this too much from a routing perspective. We got star, not bad. Um, I haven't really thought about the routing of this too much yet, actually. What I don't know if I'm gonna do here or not, I don't know if I'm gonna bother, like, beating Dark World. On the one hand, there are a lot of fast stars in the basement, but on the other hand, that's... If I'm just trying to get stars and not worried about, like, beating the game, I don't know if there's much of a need to go into the basement to get 15. I think I can get to 15 just by doing, you know, like, all of Womp's Fortress, some stuff in Cool Cool Mountain. I don't... I don't... I think I'm gonna go beat Dark World, because that- I'm not gonna be getting the right coins there, because that's just- I know that's not gonna go well. Do I know how to do this thing in this game? No. Am I gonna do it anyways? I'll try. Where- where do I need to land? That was not even a- okay. <laughs> we tried that once, uh, and that's gonna be enough. <laughs> hey, Tobias, welcome back to the stream, hope you're doing well. I don't know how to speedrun this game. I'm gonna. I I wanted to try dumb shit exactly once, and we did it exactly once, and it worked out about as well as I could have predicted. I may also try cannonless ones, even though I literally have no idea how to do it. Yeah, there is a prediction running now, if you want to get in your votes. Yahoo! But yeah, we're gonna be playing a lot of Mario today. I think of all the games that could make the prediction, like, sway one way or the other, Sunshine might be the most... Like, I have no idea how it's gonna go. Um, because of all of these games, Sunshine is 
I think the game I am the worst at of all of the eight games, and also by far the game I know the least well. Like, I've never, I, as I said, I haven't played 64 that much, but I know it pretty well because I know 64 DS very well. Uh... I know, like, any other games I do know pretty well. Why am I bad at running in a straight line? Um... But Sunshine, I'm bad at, and I need to get 30 blue coins, because I'm counting the shines and blue coins as, like, separate there. Um... And I think that's gonna be tricky. Alright, so how do you do this thing again? You, like, ledge grab? There's, like, a specific point... Okay, you know what? I, no, I, I'm not good enough with the controls to even... Like, I'm not good enough with, like, fine-tuned movement in this game to even get the setup properly, so we're not even gonna bother trying to do cannonless. We'll do cannon full. I'm surprised I even put a wall jump properly, because wall jumping in this game is like a five-frame window, unlike in the version of this game that I'm used to, where you just can slide eternally like in any other modern game. Oh my god. Please do a fucking side flip. I thought side flips were supposed to be easy in this game. Uh, how do you do this? I need, like... I need, like, somebody who actually knows how to run this. I know there's a way to, like... Ah, oh, I know there's a way to do that. But... Like, I know there's a way to... I thought you could just side flip. Oh my god, everything is so slippery. Yeah, I don't... I don't... I, I don't know how to do anything fast in this game. Hey, Zenixer. Hey, Kira. Also, I was just talking about you, because I was... <laughs> being like, I need someone to, like, teach me how to do anything in this game properly. At least I can do this. This is something you can't do in DS. Because they actually fixed hitboxes. This game just feels so slippery to me compared to 64 DS. And maybe that's just because I know how to like do precise movement in 64 DS if I want to, because you can just like not hold the run button and use D pad controls and then it will go pretty not too bad. But anyways, yeah, we're just trying to get 15 stars. Because that is one-eighth. That's the whole thing we're doing. We're getting one-eighth. We're doing 100% completion by getting one-eighth of eight different games. Because that's how math works, right? That's how math works. Yeah. 3D All-Stars is a lot more slippery. Maybe it's just something with how the, the like, joystick range works for, uh... I don't know, maybe it's just something with, like, the joystick calibration with where the dead zone is is weird on a Procon compared to... Please long jump. Or anything else. It's good to know that it's not just me that thinks this is inc oh my God, incredibly slippery. I know, like, just enough about this game to get me in trouble by trying to do stuff- Never mind. By trying to do stuff I don't really know how to do. Like, I tried to do slide skip and it just failed miserably. I am falling off the tower. I'm not falling off the tower, I'm a gamer. I say as I just completely missed the star. We have five stars in eight and a half minutes, and these are, like, the easier stars. <laughs> not ideal. On the plus side, we're a third of the way done with this. But then we have to do Sunshine, which I don't know how that's gonna go. Also, I'm going for 100 coins now. So 
felt terrible when you first played 3D All Stars. Did 70 stars when you first played and never touched again. Okay. That does make me feel a little bit better, but this is also the only. I was trying to do something fix. It's also the only version of the game I have, so. Not counting DS because that is a separate game I will be playing later. I have. I'm even playing this on like two different consoles. I've got two other controllers just sitting on a table next to me. I've got a Wii U gamepad for a 64 DS just sitting next to me, and I also have a um a, a Wii mote for uh, Galaxy 2. Did I get that red coin? I did not get this red coin. But yeah, my plan is basically to get every Star in Womp Fortress, because I don't think it'll be that bad. Uh, and then just, like, scrounge around for a few other stars in the lobby. And maybe go into Big Bozon if I really need to. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, this game! <laughs> you just have zero recoverability in this game if you, like, heaven forbid, happen to enter a sliding animation. You're just kind of fucked. Alright, let's try this again. Off to a, a great start. But yeah, uh, for those of you just coming in, there is a prediction running for how long this will take. Uh, last year I did a, a for a two years anniversary, I did something a little bit not quite the same, but I did play a bunch of Mario games, uh, and I'm basically saying, will this take longer or shorter than that? So get your predictions in, they're live for another, like, 10-15 minutes or so. That's how you silly kick. Sliding and bonking in this game are brutal. Yeah, they are. Also, I feel like the top of the thwomps in this game are just a lot more sloped. Like, they're not... <laughs> they're a lot more user-friendly, those thwomps in 64DS. Like, there's just... I don't know what to say, but they just, like, there's not as much slopage. Probably fine now, although I don't want to jinx anything. Oh my god. Time for the bullet bill! The one bullet bill in this game. Although it's not actually spawning. Alright. What is happening? I would love if the camera would stop changing when I'm on narrow platforms, but that's just not how this game rolls. That would be a double star spawn in DS. It's not a double star spawn in this game, unfortunately. Oh, almost. <laughs> All right. We we did a thing. We got under coins. There was only one death involved. Hey there, Colin. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. All right. What do we have left? We have Cannon Star and Owl Star, right? Yep. I forget that there's no special music for the owl in this game. Oh my god, how does this owl control? Why can't they change my camera at all when I'm on this, dude? What the fuck is this shit, dude? 
Does this owl just move in a set path? Do I have any control over my movement right now? Wow, that's actually terrible. The left stick does move the owl. It really doesn't feel like it. In 64 DS, that owl is super easy to control. Also, how are you supposed to find... I This is a problem in both versions. How are you supposed to know that there's a star in there? Like, that's not something any sane person would ever think to do. Oh my god, I hate this game. You always wonder why they make the thwomps look like this? Yeah, they're just... Is this the first appearance of thwomps, actually? Alright, let's hope we have better luck with the owl this time. Yeah, just... I don't know why they're not, like, flat up top. I don't mind the blue color. Like, that's something I don't really care that much, but... I don't know how the controls work. Are they, like, relative to the position or relative to the camera? Oh my god, I got displaced. I tried. You're first in SMB3. Oh yeah, you're right, they were. Where's the owl? It comes back at some point, right? No, the Womps look like relatively normal. Okay, good enough. We take those. Look how weird Mario looks in 3D All-Stars. I don't think he looks that weird. The, my, actually, one weird Mario issue to this game is this game uses that, like, low-poly Mario for, like, when Mario is too far away from the camera. That happens so much. Like, he's not that far away and it's still low-poly, and it is just jarring how often you see low-poly Mario in this game. I've noticed, I didn't point it out, I didn't notice it once. Like... Very minor complaint about this game, but complaint nevertheless. And yeah, you think it's it's not like there's any, you know, processing power issues on in in 3D All Stars. You think they could just remove that model, you know? Oop, wrong way. Okay, how's flying work in this game? It's probably slippery as hell. Oh, I thought I would actually fall more. Uh, this is just not... Yeah, we're gonna just retry this. The audio sounds slightly muddy. Yeah. When you have time, I should check DMs. Uh, we got plenty of time in Mario Sunshine, because there's like, five minutes of cutscenes. So I will check during Sunshine cutscenes, which hopefully are not in too long. I only got five more stars to get here. Nope. Okay. It's okay, we can do another loop. It's actually kind of harder to descend in this game, I've noticed. Where am I, actually? I completely lost sight of where the coins are. Oh no, my wing cap! 
Does the wind cap timer is shorter in 64? In 64 than 64 DS, because I don't think like having a circle back around would cause you to die like that in 64 DS. Hey, basically, welcome into the stream. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, so I, this is technically my stream anniversary, but Twitch also has a built-in affiliate anniversary thing, which. My affiliate anniversary and stream anniversary dates are so close to each other that there's no point in celebrating them separately. But, I figured I can at least, like, you know, see what Twitch does for the affiliate anniversary just to see how that new feature works. I'm dead again. Wow. 60 seconds in both? Okay. I'm just bad then. Although, I think we already knew that. Alright, this is already off to a not great start. I think 64 is a game I'd like to think I'm decent at, because like, I feel like I should be, but I'm not, so... 10 minutes for a star is not exactly the pace I was hoping for. But we can probably make it work. I'm going 11. I'm getting 15. Because that's- it's 120 divided by 5 is 15. Or divided by 8, I should- sorry. Yeah, if you want to see the complete list of everything I'm getting, it's on my Google Doc. If you want to predict how long this will take, uh, you have like 5 minutes left to do that. Or, I don't know, maybe 10, I don't know. 7-ish minutes left to do that. Go basement or something that requires me to beat Dark World, though. I don't think beating Dark World is worth it because I'm not gonna be getting Dark World Reds because there's no way I'm getting through that without dying. So I don't think it's worth investing the, in the two minutes in doing Dark World when I only need four more stars. And like I can get like safe, like I can like do the aquarium or some shit just to get like a safe star that I won't fuck up. It is. I don't trust myself to get through Dark World cleanly. Like, I feel like I will just die. And like, something like this, I'm not gonna die on. Basement stars are way faster than anything other than Womps. If I needed like 20 stars, sure I'd go to Basement, but 15? With like, 10 of them being, you know, the one mandatory, 7 and Womps, 2 PSS, and... Like, I already have 11 that I think are pretty free, so I'd rather just get forward in, like, CCM and Jeremy and stuff. Oh my god. Here we go. I mean, like, I'm sure, like, yeah, I can do, you know, like, a Lava Land Reds or some shit, and that would be fast. But I just don't think it's worth the risk of running through Dark World to do that. Hey, go. Alright, how bad is grabbing his ping going to be? Shockingly not too bad. I am very much- I literally just like looked down. Wait, I'm- this is not the way I need- Oh no, the penguin! Okay, well... Um... Where am I? Is this where the... Wait, you can like, do something with this dude, right? No, the wall! I tried. I'm I'm used to like literally looking down to because I look at the mini map in 64 DS after I get the penguin just to see where I need to fall down to. Okay. I think I just need, like, oh my god. Why is bonking the worst thing in the world? Alright, that should be good enough. <laughs> that wall ended my career, it really did. Alright, 
right. I am curious about one thing. Which is, will my 6040S strats work here? Shockingly, yes, they do. Well, now I have to get up here, which is gonna be non-trivial, but... Oh, right, I forgot this ledge is made, like, three times wider in DS. No! That was actually so clean! <laughs> Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Wall kicks don't work. What do I do for a last star? Um, I guess I'll just race the penguin. That's probably faster than like going to a different stage. <laughs> There's no way in hell I'm doing hundred coins here. I should really have no idea how hard it's gonna be to actually deal with the penguin. Also, last chance to get your predictions in on how fast it will or how long it will take me to get this quote unquote hundred percent done. This penguin is fast! How narrow is the ending bridge in this version? Okay, it's about the same. Two frame walk? No. Is that even like feasible to do on a on a Procon? I thought you need like a special or I, I know some people use like you know special controllers to do it. Here we go! D-pad makes it free? Ah. Alright, anyways, that is 15 stars. So. Uh, we're now gonna go to Mario Sunshine, where we need to get 12 shines out of 96 collectible shines. It's very easy on here the All-Stars. Um, and you get 12 shines and of 96 and 30 out of 240 blue coins. I feel like the blue coins could be tricky because I don't really know where they are. They're not gonna be entering that many different stages. Also, uh, now that that's running, let me actually switch the game. <gasps> Would be nice if the edit stream info thing loaded at all. Nope, that did not update anything. There we go, we've updated the game. I know the timer's frozen. It's back now. Uh, excuse me. Oh yeah, you're not kidding. These cutscenes do look horrible on 3D All-Stars. We need to reset XB start. I don't think I need to reset, but it's good to know. Cross over to that shore and find some assistance. Don't you, my beloved? I right. I was about to long jump, but you can't even long jump in this game. That's a hitbox and a half. Time for cutscene number two, baby. Power up complete. Thank Hello, you. Mr. Flash Liquid Ultra Dowsing Device? Something like that. Why does Flood scan Mario in the junk? <laughs> Just why? I do like that it showed, like, the Mario Flash Liquidizer Ultra Dowsing Device. I think that's basically what I said. Also, I do like how they have, like, you know, Mario fighting Bowser in, like, what, like, SMB1 and SM64 in the corner there. That's pretty cool. 
second best rainy Mario game? In my opinion, it's the second worst. The the tutorials they push the button because they had to take out Z and they couldn't get they couldn't get Flood to say like L or R or something. You can then press the button to hover in the Press the button. <laughs> I guess this is probably cleaner. My take on Sunshine has always been... Sunshine feels like a fun game if you're good at it. My problem is I'm trash at Sunshine. And it's not that fun if you're trash at it and game overing twice in every secret stage. Um... So I think... Wow, this camera is very different than 64. I tried to long jump again, by the way. The game is released now, they're using the AI voice. Did this Nintendo really use AI voices for stuff? Also, thrilling gameplay here. Holding one button. I'm surprised you have 3D land ranked that low, especially in 3D world. I would say my ranking Odyssey, Galaxy 2, Galaxy 1, 3D World, Bowser's Fury. Actually, maybe Bowser's Fury above 3D World? I don't know. I I'd go back and forth on those two. I made a tier list. My S plus tier list is Odyssey and Galaxy 2, probably in that order. And then S tier is Galaxy 1. A tier is 3D World and Bowser's Fury. Bowser's Fury would be S tier if it were like not half of a game or less. Um, and then B tier is like 64DS, Sunshine, and C tier is 64. Um, I've never played 3D Land. I just, I don't think I'm good enough at Sunshine to have fun with it. Like, Odyssey I think is a game that even if you suck at Odyssey, you can still have fun with it because there's a lot of stuff to do. Like, you have options, you can just do a simple, you know, long jump, cappy bounce dive to, like, a moderately far platform, which is not hard to do, and you'll feel like the coolest gamer in the world. Sunshine isn't like that. Bowser's Fury is right below 3D World, yeah, that's fair. 64 is, in my opinion, one of the most overrated games of all time. I've definitely talked about this before on stream, but this is, I guess, an appropriate stream to talk about that. Oh, right, I was gonna check DMs during this cutscene. One sec. What did Toby DM me? Yo, that's adorable. I hereby order the defendant to claim this entire island until I'll help It's a it's a pog apple basically holding up a sign that says three years. Thank you, Toby. That's very cute. Court adjourned. Court adjourned. I think I missed the objection overruled bit because I was looking at stuff. 64 3D land, 64 DS, don't care for the rest at all. I like 64 DS and I still think it's worse than everything other than 64 and maybe Sunshine. Also, I have a lot of issues with Sunshine's game design, but I don't. I'm. I, I, game design wise, Sunshine, I think, is a disaster, but. Sunshine has the coolest hub world in all of 3D Mario, and then it basically completely ignores it if you're trying to just beat the game. Because none of the Delfino Shines matter at all. None of the 240 blue coins matter at all for being the game. I don't know why they make it specifically you have to get these shines, and you can't get shines out of order in this game. With, like, very limited exceptions, so. The only way to ensure the return of the Yeah, no, I mean, Evan has talked about this before. I've talked about this with Evan. That Sunshine just feels like a very rushed game. The perpetrator is um, also, I forgot how fucking long this cutscene is. And you, Mario, are being treated as a and yeah, with another year, I think it would have been pretty good. As it is, it's like probably a 6 or a 7 out, probably 7 out of 10. Which is not bad. Like, 7 out of 10 game is still a fun game, I'll play it. Like, I'm playing Crash Bandicoot 2 right now, and that's probably also a, you know, 7-ish out of 10 game. But, um... 
t doesn't mean that with a series that is my favorite series of all time, with multiple, in my opinion, 10 out of 10 games, I just don't necessarily, you know, feel the overwhelming need to play this. Like, it's not a bad game in general. I think it's just bad relative to what else is, you know, in the series. to open. Oh, yeah, I don't really care. It's only three hits to kill this one, right? Yeah. You can't hear the Isle Delfino music without thinking Super Mario Maker 2. Yeah, that is a bit of an issue. Same with the slider music. Or the galaxy music, even. Like, I do hate how a lot of music... Wow, this looks so low-res. It just looks so blurry. I, I hate how so much of the stuff just gets ruined by, um... By just associating with terrible Mario Maker 2 levels. Time to catch Shadow Mario! That's not how you water slide. Yo, it's me, I'm water sliding! I'm trying to spam spray and completely failing! Oh my god, why is it lagging? Oh, wrong button. Are you gonna... How much fucking more health do you have, buddy? I feel like I've been spraying this dude forever. I know speedruns can kill this guy in like one second. How are you not dead yet? There we go, Jesus Christ. God damn it. I tried to go get that blue coin. Okay, let's grab this. Yes. Try this again. I forgot that you can't, like, reinitiate a hover. It lags a lot. Oh, yeah, right. I do remember, like, certain, like, pause screen stuff being very laggy for, like, no reason. This was definitely not worth the time to get, but whatever. We have one shine, one blue coin, and one normal, sh and one, uh, coin. Normal coin. I was about to say normal shine, but a no, normal coin. Where did Shadow Mario even go? People who speedrun this game or something else? I mean, I like watching speedruns of this game, but I would never want to- I'm in the wrong nozzle. Uh, would never want to actually run this myself, I don't think. Alright, Bianco Hills. Uh, my plan, by the way, is only to get the first shine here. Because I don't want to, like, fight PD Piranha. So I'm just going to go into the town area, get as many blue coins as I can find. And then, yeah. Hello, Apple. I guess I'll start with Happy Superversary. Can you guess what I'm going to say next? Hi, I'm Perfect. Welcome back to me. Thank you so much for the 28-month resub. Uh, that is most of the months I've been streaming. <laughs> I've been streaming for 36 months. You've been subbed for 28 of them. That's crazy. How do you ground pound in this game? Also, how do you swim? Oh, that's the button to swim. I forgot that you had, like, a separate, like, go down in the water button in this game. Happy 3th anniversary! Thank you, Imperfect! Once again, thank you so much for the re-sub re and continued support. Hope you're doing well. Uh, how do I actually navigate anything? That's not a side flip. 
I'm just looking for blue coins right now. That's not a side flip either. Well, it is, but it's not one that works for me. We just got home from Orlando. How was Orlando? That's about it. Alright, good enough. You woke up today to see your cat had opened your door in the middle of the night and climbed under your blanket to snuggle up. That is adorable. Wrong fucking nozzle. Alright, uh. I mean, the sunshine movement looks really good if you're good at sunshine. For me, it just looks like crap. <laughs> Oh my god. He's like not ledge grabbable. Yeah, I don't know, like, I think there's a blue coin, like, if you spray something here. Oh, there's not a ground there. That's good to know. Ugh. Hey there, Emily. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the happy anniversary wishes. That's not how you play Sunshine. Well, it is how I play Sunshine, but... Yeah, I'm trying to get as many blue coins as I know where they are, because just... I don't know, getting to 30 I think is gonna be a little tricky. I actually was on the wrong nozzle again, but I managed to... Save that one. I'm running out of water, aren't I? Where does this go? Camera! Oh my god, camera. I would love to be able to see where the hell I am. I'm not gonna lie, I don't even know where that is. Oh, is it just here? I saw that arrow sign in the back. Uh... I have absolutely no clue where that is. Uh, okay, we're gonna just give up on that for now. Uh... Oh, there it is. Eh. Whatever. I know there's a tree somewhere here that you, like, spray and it gives you a blue coin. Is it this one? Uh, well, apparently I can't even get up. Also, I would like some more water. Because I'm running out of that. Okay, maybe not that one. I'm... Let's just get the shine and move on with our lives. Oh wait, there's blue coins in the water. I'll probably get that one after I actually kill this dude. You finally got offered your first job. You have to get security clearance to be able to start. Getting security clearance requires you calling your previous employer. That's... Yeah, that sounds like a mess. I get why these gooey things are here to give you water back, but they're also really obnoxious that, like, a lot of the controls in this game are, like, stand still and spray. And then you have to not stand still. Or, like, if you stand still, you just get whacked by shit. One of the forms asked for a personal reference you've known for five years. Five years ago, you were 16. Yeah, that does kind of sound very annoying. I have heard of similar things for, like, friends of mine. 
Um... Because, weirdly enough, I guess, in... You know, I'm, like, a math guy. In one... Uh... One recruiter, or one... Organization, I guess, that really likes recruiting math people is, uh, the NSA. <laughs> so, a lot of times, people, like, in programs... You're <laughs> beginning to feel old every time you show up. So a lot of times, you know, like, people that... ...are, you know, like, in math often have, you know, like, internships or something with the NSA. It's, it's a relatively common thing to do. Uh, and apparently just asking for, like, you know, getting, trying to get security clearance on that is just a shit show. But yeah, um, it is just, like, yeah, the amount of references and foreign contacts that I've heard that you have to, or not for, but you have to, like, list so many people and get so many references for so many things, it just seems like the biggest hassle in the world. Hey look, a quick shine. You had to get sea clearance for working for the Department of Energy back in the day? Yeah, anything government related is just gonna be an absolute mess. Spray the right thing, please. Also, oh, we've been playing this game for like 20 minutes, and we've already. This is our fourth time we've had to fight this dude. Oh wait, I forgot that I'm supposed to, like, go up here during this and get this blue coin. Let me go do that. And there's gonna be a fifth. Or no, maybe it's certain- No, because we've had to fight- we had to fight one for the first shine. Uh, one, one when we got into the plaza. One for the, uh, second shine. One here. Oh, did I just reset the entire thing? Oops. Uh, and then one... So that's four, and then we'll have to do it a fifth time to unlock Gelato. Oh my god, I just wanna... When you learn that the DOE is in charge of every nuclear power plant the government owns, including aircraft carriers... It does make DOE look pretty- I mean, like, no, I get- it makes perfect sense. It's just still... A lot. Alright, Gelato is where I need to be- not Gelato, this is Ringo. I need to be getting a lot of blue coins here. I know there's a fuck ton of blue coins that are available in this shine. Do I know where they are? Absolutely not. But I'm just gonna be looking around looking for a lot of blues here. I don't know if any are in these boxes or if these are all just normal coins. I can see there's one on top. But I don't know the best way of getting there. How do you get up top of this? Alright, we've got about a quarter progress, I guess. We have three... Yeah, what if I don't want to flip three? What if I just want to go up? We have three of the however many... Wait, no, there's a thing here. We have three of 12 shines and 11 of 30 blues. That's not terrible. 
Oh my god, there are too much shit going on. This game has a lot of, like, you need to spray, and then a lot of things that, like, prevent you from spraying. If that makes sense. almost out of water. It's not ideal, is it? She can probably get more water, like, in the fountain? That would make logical sense. Oh my god, blooper. I got blooped! Okay. You can refill your water in there. That is relieving to know. God damn it! Mean. Like, oh, I want to spray this thing. Oh, wait, but like nothing is letting me do that. It's so weird how a lot of mechanics are just like, yeah, you need to use, like, you're just a sitting dog. <laughs> Let's go fight Blooper. Actually, wait, are there any blue coins like up top? Yeah, yeah. The sewer entrance. Uh, I guess I guess I could check like up here. Or not. Forgot that was also blocked off. You just go into first person or something? I kind of forget that's an option sometimes. And by sometimes I mean yeah, all the time because I haven't played this game in years. I have the wrong nozzle flipped. There's gotta be something up here, right? Nothing there. Is it here that there's a blue coin? I swear I thought there was a blue coin up on top here. Ah, there it is. Alright, I think that's a good number of blue coins. Let's go deal with this bitch. It's easy to miss being right. Yeah, I'm not- I guess I'm just not used to anything being mapped to clicking of the stick. Like, that's just a weird thing to be mapped to. Can't wait for me to do a lot of beach get first try. Yeah, that's not happening. Let me land! Or don't. I did so well the first hit without needing to take the end bits off, but... Fine. Wait, actually this isn't it poorly. I need to get these coins. Yeah, the spray before grabbing is useful. Thank you, Colin. Alright. Honestly, this could be going a lot worse than it has been going. <laughs> like, I'm not saying this is the cleanest Sunshine Run of all time. But it could be going a lot worse, you know? Loop 
the surfing safari. Right. Theoretically on this dude I can get those two blue coins in the air. Whether I'll be able to do that is another question entirely. But we're gonna at least try. Yo, that actually I'm surprised I was able to do that. Very minor thing, but I was very surprised that that worked. It's time for a race. We'll see how this goes. It's been a while since I've done this. Oh, oh shit. I tried to jump on the ledge. That did not work at all. Try again. First step, I think, of Sunshine at least. What's funny, you know the ghost sound effects with a sensor be found? Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. Just like the most harsh noise, because it literally yeah, is just the obnoxious sensor beeping noise. Oh god. I hit the jump button! I know you can jump that. How many lives do I have? Not as many as I'd like. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't know you could miss the blooper but still trigger the start of the race. This mission always gave me so much trouble. I feel like this shouldn't be hard. Like, this is like a fun mission, but... I'm not doing the best at it. Fuck, that thing was just in a very different position because of how I failed. This would be an interesting spot to game over. Learning the no blooper traps was fun. I don't know if the no- I, Honestly, I do think this is a pretty fun mission to do normally, so I don't know if the no blooper straps would be more fun. I mean, it's cool that you can do this without a blooper, just like, conceptually. I don't know if it's more fun, you know, kind of avoiding all the obstacles by going around versus just dodging. Why does my jump button not do anything? Alright, I'm gonna stop trying to cut that corner, because clearly there's something with the blooper controls I do not understand. Yeah, no, I, I know what the strat is. I've seen it before. I feel like doing this the intended way is fun, but... I'm just bad at sunshine. As I said, I'm bad at sunshine. I did save, so I shouldn't have to re-get these blue coins, right? They should be collected. Yeah, okay. Take two! Alright, you know I said after the last shine that things could be going a lot worse? This is kind of what I meant by that. How did I do that a second time? Okay, the jump button clearly works. So I don't know why... It... I I'm testing jumping now. Because that's how fucking paranoid I'm getting. Can you not jump when you're in the sliding bit? Can you only jump when you're in the water? Or are my jumps getting eaten because I'm jumping, like, right on the border? How far am I into sunshine? Uh, I've got over half the blue coins, but under half of the shines. 
and I keep dying on this blooper race. I would say probably about halfway done with Sunshine. But we also have dealt with all the annoying cutscenes at the start, so the second half might go quicker. Right, I'll just do this the intended way, which apparently also involves saying I'm so bad at that one turn. Hey, Sam, welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the happy anniversary wishes. That is the, like, third time I've jumped... Oh, and now I'm on the blooper that doesn't turn as well. Okay, you can't jump when you're on the, uh, the pavement. You can only jump when you're on the wall. I think that's what, that's what was messing me up. Was I actually too slow? Ejects you from the stage? Does it kill me? Does that lose a life? I didn't know you could be too slow. I thought that was only for the secret one you could be too slow. So I didn't let you skip cutscenes. I'm just unhappy with how this star is going. I didn't- or Shine, sorry. I didn't know that you could fail the first one. I knew you could fail the second one, because that was a timer, but... For the non-seeker one, it actually doesn't make sense to me that they're- that... For just doing it normally, I don't know why they have a time constraint on it. I think it's 45 seconds, and me missing the blooper at the start probably caused it. Hey there, IndieMan64, welcome into Apple is Bad at Sunshine. A blooper's face sliding across concrete would probably cause a lot of pain. I mean, that's true. I guess if you think about how a blooper would jump, it's not like it has legs, so it probably has to do some sort of water propulsion thing. So if it's, you know, on concrete and not water, it probably couldn't do the water propulsion. Is it weird that I, like, really like the sound effect for the blooper? sliding over the concrete. Like, it's a very, like... You'd think it'd be just nails on chalkboard, but it, honestly, I kind of I kind of dig it. It's like a tire track thing. Alright, after, like, seven failed attempts, we have gotten Rico 2. Buy the new blooper-powered Model T for only 300 coins. Order now! I'm sorry, I only, I'm broke. I've only got 20. How do you end perfectly under where it spawned? I don't know. We're gonna call that skill. Even though, if you watched any of the shine before that, you would know that that was not skill. Because <laughs> I do not have skill at this game. Me when you only got 20 coins in the bank. Well, we only need 30 of those. Actually, we're just- we're, we're falling way more short on actual sh shines, because I need 12 when I'm at... How many am I at? 5 now? Once again, there's some quick Delfino- I don't know why I said once again. There's some quick Delfino ones to get, so I'm not, like, overly concerned. <laughs> I do it. How do I get out of here? How do you jump out of water in this game? It just does not feel consistent. No, I, I know you can skip. I actually did practice this like a couple weeks ago for something, so... I know how to do this. I just... I probably should do a normal jump instead of a side flip because I actually don't need the extra momentum from the side flip. Or the extra height. I actually had too much height was the problem. Can I make it over to that from here? Because I still need blues. 
Honestly, the blues still are concerning me more than the shine, because at least I know where shines are. In blues, I don't, you know, have as much of a, a memory for where they are. Fucking fuck. How's Sunshine going? Uh, not great. I did die about six times doing the blooper mission here. And I've fallen a couple times trying to do Rico 3. I am 38 minutes into Sunshine. I have, what, five shines and 20-ish blues? I did the same thing again. I wasn't even trying to side flip. Okay, you have to stop moving to get out of water. That's good to know. Honestly, I'm having a bit of a meltdown here. How many shines do I need? 12 shines, 30 blues. I've only gotten one Delfino shine though, so I'm actually still more worried about blues because I don't know. Like, I need to know. I don't know where, like, blues and gelato are, for instance, and I need to get some of those. Where'd my jump go? Oh my god, if this is. This game has so much acceleration from a standstill, it actually you just walk off every platform before you're trying to. Please tell me that works. Thank you. I definitely had the 50-50 of crap. Which button do I press? Because there's one button that sends you through the grate and the other button that you fall off. And it's different when you're hanging on the bottom versus the side. I... I'm like, I think it's jump when you're on the bottom, but it's definitely the, like, attack dive button when you're on the side. I wonder how tight the timer is on this. That's not how you water slide. I'm like probably fine on blues. Alright. 23 blues. Let's go over to gelato. Yeah, I've been going- I've been going pretty out of my way for blues. Um... And I haven't really, you know, been going out of my way for shines. Oh my god, please appear. Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I, I will be going in that pipe. I just need a few blues and gelato. Do I know where blues and gelato are? Not really, but... Alright, phase two. I fucking hate these dudes. There we go. Yeah, I agree, Yoshi. Also, I think I, I don't know if I said hi, welcome back to the stream, but hi, welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. No, I agree. I said earlier that I have like some issues with Sunshine, not just controls wise and gameplay wise, but game design wise, and that is my biggest issue. They have all the blue coins, which, I mean, some of them are hidden really stupidly, but still, I think, a cool idea. And they have, you know, this entire concept of, um... 
of like Delfino Plaza, like the best hub world in Mario. And instead of doing like anything cool with that, they just make it all completely useless unless you're going for 100%. Like the fact that you can trade in. The fact that you can trade in. Can you not wall jump up the. Okay, okay. The fact that you can trade in. Uh, 10 blues for a shine. It's just like not really useful for anything other than like Noki unlock in a couple niche situations like that. Any other Mario game, like you know, optional stuff will like count towards progression to the final boss. Like any other Mario game. Like Mario 64, it doesn't matter what stars you get. Galaxy 1 and 2 doesn't matter what stars you get. I mean, you have to get a couple for story progression, but that's understandable. Odyssey doesn't matter what moons you get. This game fucking matters a lot. should have gotten more than two blues in gelato. I don't necessarily know where... How many blues do I need? Five more? I don't necessarily know where they all are. I guess I can do, like, some of the fruit lady stuff. Oh, there's also the sewers. That is not the direction I wanted to get launched in. Where am I? Cool. Yahoo! You have so many issues with Sunshine. I think I think 64 is worse than Sunshine, but 64 is the only 3D Mario I'd say is worse than Sunshine. All right, let's go into the sewers to look for some blues. I don't fully know where they are. I just know there's at least a couple. Someone like up here. Yep, there's one. Uh yeah, I don't I don't know where anything in the sewers is. I didn't wanna leave the sewer. Um That's a one-up, damn it. Is there more than- how many blue coins are there in the sewers? I thought there was more than the one. I guess I'll just go back in Gelato and find three more there, because I don't really know the best places to get three more in the plaza are. But I can spray this dude.
Definitely more than one. All right, I guess we'll hop back into the sewers and try to figure shit out. It doesn't look like there's any over here. Okay, he went this way. I guess it's gonna be further left? Like further this way? Cause I haven't really gone this way. Oh, it's not there. <sighs> this is kind of the part I was dreading of just, you know, aimlessly wandering to find like two blue coins. Oh, I just realized I'm thinking of like the island ones, but those may not unlock. Can you not get to the island this early? Do you have to, like, unlock Pinna Park or something to do that? Alright, I just want to get out of here at this point. Sewers was not worthwhile, and now I'm stuck in them because I don't fucking know where the exit is. I... Get me out of here, dude. Let's just go into gelato and get stuff there. I, I know I can find two in gelato. Which island? The one with the coconut lady. Because I know there is a sewer blue coin in that general area, but I just couldn't figure out, you know, how to actually accomplish that. Whatever, it's fine. Oh, let's use a lot of one and get a couple blues in here, because there's like... I think there's like random slots you can spray the beach. It's your favorite game! Alright, there's Dirty Blues! Oh, pot! We're almost done with this, it's okay. We only need a few more shines and we just got all the blues. Uh, we're doing Galaxy Next, which I know is a game you actually like a lot more, and I do too. Hey there, Adam. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the happy anniversary. Alright, let's see how this secret goes. Concentration intensifies. Oh, shit. Double shit. Bad things are happening! Where's the actual shine? It's up here, right? Easiest secret in the game. Feels like people just think Galaxy is garbage now, which is- Like, there are definitely, like, fair complaints about Galaxy. Like, I understand people are like, you know, the- the- the movement in Sunshine is better than Galaxy, which, like, and stuff like that was, like, you know, fair. I can't really argue with that. Um. But also, I don't know, the, the environment of Galaxy is just so cool to me. Alright, let's go do box game. I think I can do box game. It doesn't look to be closed. So that's two free shines right here, and then figure out the last one. Oh, 
Wow, they really do like the time hurry up thing with 15 seconds left. Nice. How do I get that? Oh my god. Get the fucking shot, please. It's me, I'm people. Yo, we we ski, we three ski. I don't know how to pronounce that, but thank you so much for the raid. Hope you're doing well. Favorite moving to 64. I don't like 64, but I can understand that. Hi. Galaxy feels like an unforgettable experience. Galaxy 2 is, as a comparison, feels kind of bland. I have more nostalgia for Galaxy 1 than Galaxy 2. Like, if I want a game just to chill with, Galaxy might be my number one just play and chill game. But I also think Galaxy 2 is a better game. Speedrunning 64 is your favorite casual galaxy. I think for speedrunning, Odyssey is my favorite of the 3D Marios. Casual, it's either Odyssey or Galaxy 2. But if, as I said, if I just need a game to chill, it'll be Galaxy 1, not Galaxy 2. I think I can, like, spray a bell over here. Actually, I want to try something that I've seen speedrunners do. Uh, which surely, when could that ever go wrong? But you like, pick up a pepper, and you bring it over here. And then you can like, kind of use it to clip. I don't know how you let go of- How do you let go of a held object in this game? Like, you can- there's a way to, like, clip into the wall with this. Oh, I guess I was too close to the wall to set it down. I'm still too close to the wall to set it down. I don't know how. There may be some inputs I'm not knowing. It looks easy when speedrunners do it. Like, that feels close, but... Alright. Worth a shot for, like, two seconds. I've been told there's, like, a bell you can spray around here. I don't exactly know how to get to the bell, though. Isn't it, like, all the way up there? Oh, I guess you can make it from here. Yo, cool. Wait, shit. <laughs> Span spray doesn't really work like that, does it? One of the- I think this one you don't need the rocket nozzle for. I think it's the other one you need it for. Oh, so this is just obnoxious. Because I think this one you get it from the sewers, right? Yeah, it just appears down there and you just jump up from the sewer. The other one you need a rocket for, or some special fancy tricks, but here, just that. And that is one eighth of Mario Sunshine, 12 shines, 30 blues. We're done. You wanna get into your college dissertation of why Galaxy is boring moving? You'll have to buy your $95 book. All right, fair enough. Anyways, that's it for Mario Sunshine. Let us move on 
to my favorite game of this trilogy. Not the one that's shown here, or that one. Yep, this one, Galaxy. We gotta get 15 stars. I'm not saying, like, oh, because it's 242, you need 30 or whatever. We're just counting the 120 Mario stars, because that's how speedrunners do this anyways. Fresh file. Uh, Yoshi, why not? Uh, let me change the game while this is happening. Yoshi Sweep! Galaxy 2 is your favorite post-game in any 3D Mario. I also really love Galaxy 2's post-game. 100% agree. You really need something better to collect with your channel points? I know. I have, like, the problem is I have, like, game-specific channel point stuff. So, when I'm doing something like this where I'm, you know, either playing a lot of games or just playing a game I don't know as much. Because, you know, not as much. Also, I'm, like, not gonna collect any star bits. Or at least try not to. I don't think I will want... Yeah, there's like one Hungry Luma Galaxy that like could be worth it, but man, I'm not gonna do it. A lot of cutscenes. Yeah, it's better than Galaxy 1's post-game, which is do the same shit again. Um, with a different character. Yeah, we need to get 15 stars here, um, out of 120. Yeah. Which will be, you know, the first dome in a fair amount of the second. This might be a longer one just because Galaxy is a long game, especially with how many cutscenes they load at the first one. Can we want to make the game display upside down? No. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why not? Touche. I don't know. This is a game I have no idea how long. I guess sometimes took me almost an hour, which is longer. Longer than I hoped, but shorter than I feared. Like, Sunshine is a game I know could have taken me, you know, an hour and a half if I just, you know fuck things up pretty bad. In my head, Bowser is singing Peaches, you know? Fair. Very fair. Oh, well, see, yeah, this is one of those times when doing things on a fresh file is gonna make things a little slower. Cause, like, all of this opening cutscene doesn't really happen as Luigi. I think Luigi it shows like a shortened version of this cutscene. There's no Star Festival and it just takes you to the first planet. So I think it's like four and a half to five minutes longer just of pure cutscenes with Mario than Luigi. But I'm doing everything on fresh files today, so. Sub and every sub rotates the game by one degree. I could turn on inverted color. I could. I could turn on inverted colors. I don't necessarily want to though. I want to enjoy this game. You thought you just got a raid. This is the raid sound effect. That is true. That is very true. Also, I'm trying to bring up something to show on stream, but it could take a bit. Oh, my God. 
Oh, wow. Okay, trying to bring up something from my downloads has frozen my entire computer. That's awesome. This is the thing, Toby Drew. I could just leave it there, actually. Should I just leave that there? I'm just gonna leave that there for now. The timer is paused because when I don't have the timer, like, up front, um, it just doesn't show up. Uh, or it doesn't update. So the timer was still running, but because I was, like, on Discord downloading the image, um, and bringing it up on stream, then, uh, then, yeah, we're, uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it just, the timer was frozen. Uh, is this a crater? No, that's the wrong crater. It's this crater. It's a crater that doesn't go all the way through. Time to catch rabbits, baby! We're gonna be doing some more of this later, actually. Because in Mario 64 DS, um, because basically the, oops, the idea is that I'm keeping track of everything that the game has, like, a cumulative tracker of and doing one to eighth of that. So the game, in Mario 64 DS, it does keep a cumulative tally of the rabbits you've caught. So we have to catch one eighth or four of the rabbits. Um, so we'll be doing that when we get to Mario 64 DS. But that'll be in a bit, because we've got three games, or four games to go between now and then. Uh, and two of them are gonna be very long. <laughs> this one and Odyssey are gonna be long, and Galaxy 2 is also gonna be very long. Cause that one, there's- I, that one I'm doing it out of 242 instead of out of 120, so we're getting 30 stars there. Three years! No way! Alright. Oh, right, I can't- I was trying to spin! I can't spin yet. Hi, Rosalina! Uh, one sec, I'm just gonna... Drag this down. Alright. Sorry. Timer probably frozen in for a bit there. I was just dragging the, the sources around because alerts also appear in the bottom right corner. I don't want the that image to appear over the alerts, so I have to drag it below the alerts. Anyways, that's all sorted out. We can spin now. Let's go play some fucking galaxy. Ascend and disappear into the cosmos, Rosalina. How many stars do I need? Fifteen! Finally, she died! Also, if you type exclamation mark rules, there is a Google Drive link which has all of the information on everything and you can just follow along in that. Wait, that's a coin. I don't know where the actual launch start here is. Oh, that's conveniently close to where I happen to be. That's a bonk! This one's pretty straightforward. Later, like, Odyssey is very not straightforward in terms of everything I need to get, or there's just, like, several different things getting keep track of. So that'll be a bit. Do I also need to talk to this dude? I 
can't remember, because I know that first, like, that Goomba that I need to spin doesn't even spawn until after you talk to that one. I'm not sure if that's true... ...of this big guy or not. One hundred ten moons? Yeah! I mean, there's eight hundred eighty moons in the game. Crazy how good this game looks? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why, like, if- There's no good reason that Galaxy 2 wasn't in for the All-Stars. And I'm still upset that it wasn't. Cause I don't know if I'd pay for it separately, cause, yeah. What the fuck do you think I've been doing this whole time, Luma? Grand Star get! Only guess why they had very big time constraints because the devs hated working on Galaxy. I don't know why they hate Galaxy 2 so much, but... Whatever. Welcome to the Common Observatory! Pretty cool visually, pretty lacking as a hub world, especially compared to, you know, Delfino Plaza, which we just played, so... SMG2 is my favorite. SM Galaxy 2 is my favorite for a while. I think I'm at the point now where I like Odyssey more, but it's not by much. There's also a reason Galaxy. Well, Ga we're doing Galaxy 2 last. Partially because we're just doing all the Switch stuff first and then we use stuff, but that's also a cool thing to end on. Let me run this pub as a pain, so much loading. It gets better when you get the red star power up and you can just zoom around everywhere. Please. I swear, maybe they only, they only made this hub so sprawling just because they wanted to give you an excuse to use the red star power up that they made way too overpowered to use in any real level. But yeah, you have to beat the engine room to get the red star, which is very late. You can beat the game without getting it. So many tutorials. Oh my god, I don't need this. I forgot this tutorial before you can select Fly the Galaxy. Hey, I can play the game! Woo, we're 15 minutes in! The reds aren't swimming, were the only thing you forgot to uninvert. Oh, I don't actually... No, I don't... I don't even want Starbits. I don't need Starbits for anything other than, I guess, the Hungry Luma in Good Egg 2. Just 
Screw you, Luma. I don't need you. This planet, by the way, was like my fucking nemesis as a kid. I could not dodge all these boulders without dying. So where's the last starship? <laughs> also was a very big obstacle when I was doing the, the blindfolded uh, stuff of this with rain. Which is, if this is the faster way to do this, or... Because there's like two different paths you can take on that planet, and I don't know whether this is the faster one or if it's the other one. I earned an additional Mario, no way. Having to constantly wait for the teleporters to each location takes so long, so glad SMG2 streamlined it. Galaxy 1 Hub has more charm. I will say. But there is something nice about Galaxy 2, you just easy level select, so. I think it's hard for me to say I like Galaxy 2's Hub more, because there is, you know, a distinct lack of, of charm in it. Because it's just a fucking map. But I can understand that argument. I don't really love the face ship in general that much. I think my problem with it is like, if I want to like, even like, find a particular NPC on the face ship, like... It's not distinctive enough where I don't know, like, obviously it's not a big area so I can just walk around. But I don't really, like, if, if, you know, sometimes you get stars and it's like, Oh, you know, the bob from Throwback Galaxy is here and wants to talk to you. And it just shows some random place, and I don't know which direction I need to run to get to it, because the whole thing is looks the same, and there's no real indication of that. Like, this hub, at least I know where I am at all times. I don't know if I shot at all those star bits before collecting the star or not. If you're gonna have a level select instead of a hub 3D world, did it better? That's probably fair. Hey there, Spider. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Are you speedrunning because of time or just timing yourself to see? More just for the sake of having a timer. I don't need one. It's just kind of there. I also do have a prediction going for how long this will take, so that's also as the timer up. Face ship also has Yoshi and the Cloud Flower, which is fun to mess around with. I guess you do get those faster than you would get the um like the red star in this game. Also I realize sitting on a rotating chair means that or I get never know. I'm thinking poorly. Anyways, uh now I need to actually collect star bits. You have been on faster even though it's too late. I don't know. Like I gen like I genuinely my goal for this is six hours, but I don't know how realistic that is, given that, like, Odyssey and Galaxy 2 are gonna take forever. And also, I forgot just how much time it takes to get started in this game. Like, it... It's been... It took, like, 15 minutes just to, you know, get to the hub world. Fuck you. We need to get 100 star bits here. I... How did I manage to do that? That's honestly impressive. That I managed to do that. Oh, you are still on my face. Grand Star still counts as I mean, I'm not saying it doesn't count as a star, but like... 
15 minutes for one star in its associated cutscenes is still a lot, you know? Music does go super hard. There's a launch star out of here. Yeah, this game's soundtrack is fucking top tier. It's so good. Galaxy 2's as well. I don't know which one I'd say I like better. I'd say Galaxy's one is more Galaxy 1's is more memorable, but I think that may just be because I've played Galaxy 1 so many more times than Galaxy 2. Like I've only like I've only fully played your Galaxy 2 twice, I think, maybe three times. Galaxy 1 I played through a lot more than that. Galaxy 2 does have some good tracks. I really like the the Yoshi Star Galaxy. I think Galaxy 2 is really good. Um, Starshine Beach is really good soundtrack. But I would overall say that Galaxy 1 soundtrack is better. But yeah, th this is not to take anything away from Galaxy 2 soundtrack. It is also amazing. Uh, which side is the entrance? It's here. Did I just go back to the start? I sure did. This is always the part where I completely forget. Oh, it's because I have to wait for these things to, like, come. It's like, I do the skip and then I, like, end up going all the way back because I just forget where I'm supposed to be going. And the answer is this way. Shout out to Rain doing that jump blindfolded, <laughs> the long jump for it spin into the star. Galaxy 1 is way more filler slash repeat, case point the B level is just, yeah, the, it's just the autumn version of Honey Hive, yeah, Cold Leaf. Which we will not be seeing in this run, but we will be seeing Honey Hive right now, actually. Galaxy 2 feels a lot more linear than 1, it's definitely more linear. I don't know if I'd say it reuses basic tropes a lot more. I think Galaxy 2 just has more ideas than Galaxy 1. Maybe the best way of putting it. So... Maybe it just, like, doesn't, you know... It's a way of phrasing this. Maybe because it has more ideas, it just, like the levels feel more basic, because it's like your first use of an idea, and it's not like, overused, but maybe not used as much as it could. I don't know if I'd call most of the Galaxy 1 levels samey, other than obviously the two that are mirror images of each other. There's some Galaxy 1 levels I think aren't the best. 
Like, I think the, uh, sea slide level is just terrible. Or maybe not terrible, but it's not good. Actually, you know what, maybe, you know what I will say? It's, it's, it's maybe the worst big galaxy in the entire series, because you swim around in a circle, and then you swim around in a circle again, and then you swim around in general just collecting, you know, it's it just not, there's no star that feels that different than all the others. Guys, did you have better B levels? Galaxy 1 has way too many purple coin missions. I don't mind the Galaxy 1 purple coin missions. So you get a lot of flack. And they get that, like, you know, sea slide, obviously, you know, exploring the entire area isn't great, but I don't. I don't hate it. Sea slide aside, and, like, maybe the ghostly one where you're swimming around the airship, that one is also kind of boring. Um. But, like, I don't mind, like, I don't mind the, the purple coin one in this stage, which is one of those, like, more exploratory ones. I don't mind the purple coin one in Free Flame. I don't mind the one in Dusty Dune, which a lot of people seem to hate Dusty Dune. And I don't fully know why I like Dusty Dune. I don't love it, but I think it's pretty good. We're getting called a newbie. The big enemy one. Super massive is maybe one of my biggest disappointments in Galaxy 2. I will just say, I was talking about Sea Slide, you do the same thing over again. Super massive is you do the one level, then you do 90% of the level, and then just on the second to last planet there's a secret. And then the third mission is just a goddamn speed comment of the main thing. You do the same thing three times, basically. Like, they didn't have any other ideas with the super massive galaxy other than the one mission. You could scare them and get called a boo. Yep. Oh, I didn't mean to have a starbit collected. Rip, that lost like a full second. Damn. Look. Raising armaments, you have a lot more variety. That's fair. I don't know why I felt the need to fire that starbit, but I did. I think, um, what was I going to say? I don't know what I was going to say. I think, oh, I, I, no, I sorry, I was going to say. I think there's one thing that's different about the design of Galaxy 2. Oops, how did I feel that? Uh, the design of Galaxy 2 compared to the design of Galaxy 1. One sec, I gotta nail these, this, okay. It's not actually that hard. I don't know why I failed the first time I just didn't spin. Um, one thing that's different about the design of Galaxy 2 compared to Galaxy 1 is that in Galaxy 2, uh, or in Galaxy 1, there are small galaxies and big galaxies. And the big galaxies have, you know, three main stars, which are all different, plus a prankster comet, a purple comet, and a secret star, and then... In the case of, what, a Dusty Dune and Battle Rock, there's two secret stars. So they all have six or seven. And then there's the smaller galaxies, which all have one star, except for Gateway, which has two, but that one's, like, a weird exception. It's basically they either have six or one. Uh, and in Galaxy 2, not including green stars, every, every, um... Everything is either two or three. 
With, you know, sometimes one of those will be a prankster comment and such, but like... I think there's a big difference in how the level design will work. Um, if you, you know, have a galaxy with three main... There's no galaxies in Galaxy 2 with three main stars. They always have, like, one or two main stars, and then one or two, like, hidden slash comet stars. Um, which are just, you know, variations of some sort. So, I think that could be part of what uh, makes Galaxy 2 feel maybe a little underdeveloped in some way, because the individual galaxies aren't given as much time to shine. Also, best boss ever right there. Maybe there's something to do that, I don't know, but I think that's part of it. Galaxy 2 does have the chimp, this is true. You think the bigger galaxies are much better? I mean, no, that that's fair if you think the bigger galaxies are better. I also think it's fair to say that Galaxy 2, like... It's, it's no galaxy left behind, you know? It also means that if it's a galaxy you don't like, then you don't have to linger on it as much. But if it's a galaxy you do like, you're never gonna, like, feel like there's not enough of it. Yes. I don't know which one I like better, to be honest. There are definitely some galaxies in Galaxy 2 that I wish had been, you know, expanded upon. Like, I don't know, like, Shiverburn Galaxy, I feel like, could have used another main mission, because it really only has one. Uh, Supermassive, as I mentioned earlier, I think could use another main mission. Uh, but then you have stuff like... But I don't know, but then you have stuff that has more of a chance to shine, I think. Like, Galaxy 1 narrow levels, I'm like, okay, like, buoy Base. Like, that's a cool, I guess that's another one that is too. But, like, that one I feel like would be cool if there was more than one mission. That's, like, a cute galaxy. Um, and then something like Sea Slide, I wish didn't have, you know, six goddamn stars to get when they had one idea. <laughs> so. I don't know. Take your pick on that one. Also, I'm bad at this boss. Oh, that was a miss. Rip. As I said, I'm bad at this boss. There we go. Alright, not terrible for my standards on that one. Really, the boss- the boss rush or like the mini planet one? Like the boss blitz galaxy that had all the galaxy one bosses or the battle belt that had like the mini planets where you had to fight like a few enemies on ten planets in a row? The green stars in both of those are very boring. <laughs> Having purple coins in almost every galaxy in Galaxy 1 makes you get sick of them. I disagree. I don't think- they didn't make me get sick of them. I think, uh... Oh, so is this Manta Surfing? Yeah, Manta Surfing time. Uh... What I actually liked about them was that- I think it's just because, you know, when I play- Because they don't lock until post-game. Um, so there's definitely some aspect of, like... Okay, you get, you know... A cool, like... It's like, I haven't, you know, been to, say, Honey Hive Galaxy in forever. Because I'd, you know, gotten all the stars early in the normal playthrough, and now I can go back and there's a cool post-game thing. And it's kind of like re-exploring galaxies I haven't been to in a while. Like, if they all unlocked, kind of, 
during normal gameplay, like the Prankster Comet Zoo in Galaxy 2, then I think it would be worse. But, um... And because it's a revisiting thing... Also, I really like this aesthetic of all the multicolored rings, like, in a row that does not appear anywhere on the actual course. Also, I know chat is saying stuff about the story that I can see. This is not a story I can really look at chat during. I gotta stay focused. This was also an absolute bitch to do blindfolded. This start took like two hours for Rain to guide me through this blindfolded. Galaxy was marketed more like Bowser's Fury, you'd be okay with how it is. That's a fair take. What do you say about the story? You hate up people completely disregard Galaxy's one story just because they don't come to Mario for story. You can understand preferring Galaxy 2 or not really caring about story, but it's absolutely still an advantage one house number two. That's it. I will admit, as a kid, I never read through, like, Rosalina's storybook, which is, like, very well done and very cool. Um... Yeah, not much else to say about that one. You forgot about that story? We're gonna be playing it soon! And that will probably be the shortest of everything, because that game goes quick. Yeah. Battery doesn't feel like a full game. It, it's, I, it's not. It just isn't. <laughs> like, it doesn't feel like a full game, because it isn't a full game. You've never seen gameplay about- you've really never seen gameplay about this right? Well, get ready for about, like, 15 minutes of it. Um, in maybe an hour or so. I'm doing 3D- because I'm doing 3D World first, so I've got a- I've, you know, I guess halfway under Galaxy Star-wise. I'm hoping more than half time-wise. Um, but we gotta get- Yeah, we gotta get- more done. We gotta do this, and then we gotta do 3D World, and then we'll do Balustry. We got eight more stars to get here, then probably an hour-ish of 3D World, and then Balustry. The visual aesthetic of Bowser got very old fast, the leak is just so visually dull. Steve Gaming did a video on it? Man, has Steve, Ga has Steve Gaming done anything recently, or has he just completely vanished off the face of the planet? The area just lack personality? That is fair. I think what I'll say about Galaxy 1 versus Galaxy 2, I think I've, did, I, I think I've been pretty consistent in saying this. Galaxy 1 has more nostalgic value for me. I think the Comet Observatory has a lot more charm than the than Face Ship Mario. I think, um... I think that the story, obviously, as people have said, the story in Galaxy 1 is a lot better than Galaxy 2. Um... Yeah, Galaxy 1, I think it's just... It's more nostalgic. It has more charm. I think Galaxy 2 just has better gameplay, and for me, when I'm rating a game, the gameplay is the number one thing that matters, so. 
On break for personal stuff, doesn't know if he'll, he'll ever come back. Alright. Fair enough. Really? I did not even know that was a thing that could happen. Alright, I guess I'll stand on the other side instead of on top. Fuck you. I think Galaxy 2 has better gameplay. I think a lot of the Kings of Galaxy 1 are worked out uh, in Galaxy 2. I think there's better power-ups in Galaxy 2 between, you know, Cloudflower, Yoshi, all of that, all of the Yoshi stuff. I just think it's a better game. Green Stars is a uh, significantly better post-game than doing the same thing again as Luigi. You like Galaxy 2 being harder, you prefer one's level design? I don't know which one I consider harder. Champions are the side. I don't know which one I consider harder. Probably Galaxy 2, actually. I think, um... One of my biggest issues with Galaxy 1, gameplay-wise, is I think there's a lot of, like, small spherical planets in Galaxy 1 that the gravity and controls are just completely fucked up. I don't know if any of those are actually tracking me. They weren't. I hate how you just get to and then they collide. I need to see it further down. Everything is colliding with everything else. I just want to get one. One more. I don't know where that one came from, by the way, but... Whoop. I don't think I've ever seen a How to Play DVD of Galaxy 2. I think I've seen, like, snippets of it posted on YouTube, but I've never seen... I never watched it myself. I never saw the full thing. Grand Star 2! Alright, that's nine stars out of... A larger number that we need. So I'm going to watch the whole thing. Is it like posted somewhere I can watch it? So it was a level designed to be broken. I can believe that. I've seen speedruns of this game. Or of Galaxy 2, I guess. It's on YouTube? Cool. I discovered a new galaxy, no way. You looked at the map? I have not looked at the map because you are just showing the map for the first time. How could I have looked at the map? Honestly, underrated galaxy flips up. Oh my god, I did not want to talk to you. I have zero star bits, dude. You're just gonna have to go hungry. I never really loved flip still that much. The boss on that was always kind of weird. And I did think the spin drill mechanic was a little one note, but... There is probably- it looks cool from a speedrun perspective to break it, so... There is that going for it. Full star path. Do I have to fight Camilla now that I think about it? I think I do have to fight Camilla. Cause I don't think I can get to 12 without it. Mm. 
What's Flipsville? It's the one with the spin drills and the fuzzies. And has that weird boss that I don't fucking know her name, but the, she fires out like lava peaches basically to block. And you have to like go to the other side. It's also the one with that one really weird green star where you have to like jump off a cliff at the right spot. Space Junk is such a chill galaxy. This might be one of the most chill, like, music. One of the most chill, like, songs on the soundtrack. Wait, what? Tell me it wasn't in that zone. Cosmic Cove is a chill level of Galaxy 2. That is true. I don't know if this is... I don't know if I call this THE chill level. Beach Ball might be chiller vibes-wise. Uh, the Stone Cyclone area side. But this is the most chill music. Until we get to this next upcoming section, which I think the music changes, and section is decidedly less chill. They even got the SS Dolphin? True. Cassie, you get PCSC from Stone Cyclone? Don't blame ya. I mentioned earlier, can you make this jump by the way? I had to try. Maybe you still can. Maybe as Luigi, I don't know. I'm not trying that again. I saw it there, I'm like, eh, what's the worst that could happen? If I die, it doesn't lose that much time to see respawn right here. Uh, anyways, I was saying earlier that the, like, that one planet in, in Good Day gave me a lot of trouble. This is another section that gave, you know, 10-year-old Apple when this game first came out a lot of trouble. I think I just, like, couldn't predict where things were going to be. Stone Cyclone is a horror level in disguise, especially on the speedy version, it's just like you... Well, I guess the whole thing is speedy unless you hit the switches, right? So... I think getting these ones... Having to go back was something I always messed up, actually. I really got caught on the corner there, so I couldn't long jump. That sucks. It's not even that hard. Maybe I just didn't time it properly as Mario. It is possible that you can do that as Mario just totally fucked it up. Yeah. Speed block action guys to vibrate so we mode. I guess I never really thought of that as for death players, but it makes total sense. I just always thought about it as like, yeah sure, why wouldn't you be able to feel I don't know if I'll be doing beat block actually. I might be actually. Yes. Cause I'm pretty sure. Cause I need 31 star. Uh, also, it, 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 I case this, this hasn't actually come up yet. Uh, but it will starting in 3D world. Uh, anytime that I'm you know trying to get to 1.8, uh, I'm rounding up. So. Galaxy 2 has 242 stars, 242 divided by 8 is 30.25, and I'm get, I'll get 31. So maybe this ends up being closer to, you know, 101 or 102% if you actually do the math, but... Yeah, we are rounding.
the block is World 3. Yeah, I don't know how far... I know to get to the 31 stars, I have to go into World 3. I don't know how far into World 3 I have to go. So, I don't know. Because I know beat block's kind of at the end of World 3. I don't want to have to fight the World 3 boss. I'm sure the only one who'd care about exact percentage accuracy... I know, sometimes I just anticipate, you know, people coming and being very pedantic about things. It's like, you know what? I'll just round up. The first three games, it actually doesn't matter, because everything is a multiple of eight. Because 120 and 240 and 96, which are the numbers I'm getting, are all multiple of eight. Three D World's the first one that's not multiple today because it's three eighty stars and uh, eighty five stars. Damn it! All right, we're ma I, we're not making terrible time. We're not making the best time, but we're not making terrible time, I don't think. I have, what, the one death that cost me 30 seconds, and other than that, I think things have been going pretty smoothly. The Galaxy 2 final boss level is good. I like both games' final boss levels. The final Bowser levels are very good in both games. Wouldn't this game technically be 242? Yes, but I'm not counting that, because that's just, like... Even, like, in, you know, the 602 and shit, you do 120. So, I'm just counting this 100% as 120. Because that seems to be the most fair way of doing things. Fun fact, you can, like, jump from here. I don't know if it's really worth it for anything, but you can jump from that platform down to, like, later on this track. How I know this is because I've tried to, like, do coinless challenges of this game. And this is actually a pretty hard start to get coinless, but that's kind of how you have to do it. You have to jump down instead of, you know, going into the, the funnel thing there to get to the rail. Because, yeah, that's just not gonna work. Ooh, that gave me a lot more momentum than I wanted. I thought that Google was gonna hit me and fuck with my momentum. Talking billboard should remain. Oh, see, so yeah. Speaking of things that were very hard for 10 year old Apple, this, the rolling ball stuff was like fucking impossible. And it's just like a 30 second star. It's like really three planets, maybe. It's such a short star, but. Yeah, 10 year old Apple is not very good at video games. Some would argue that 25 year old Apple is not good at video games, but. Um. Shut up. <laughs> I actually want. Right, I forgot. I want to do one more star in space, Jones. So I want to do the secret star here. Final boss self isn't the best, but the level before the boss is. But yeah, the final boss, the final sequence where he's like the really epic music and you're coming out like he's like punching you into the plane. It's that sequence is cool. I think the final boss in Galaxy One is. But I also just think the Bowser fights in Galaxy One are in general better than the Bowser fights in Galaxy Two. I think they're more interesting. I think attacking him directly and the punching the ground and the late, the fire stuff in the plot. I think that's cooler than me just firing mini planets at him. 
Also, I don't know if I actually fully finished the sentence I was speaking of any plants. I don't think I ever fully, like, explained why I, one of the reasons I like Galaxy 2 better than Galaxy 1. Galaxy 1 has a lot of, like, small planets. Like, for instance, those spherical ones you can kind of see, you know, in the distance that we have to run around to get the starships for. Like, there's a lot of plants where the camera, like, even now, the camera's kind of weird on this. Um, where do I enter? Oh, it's here. Like, the camera's kind of weird, and, uh... Like, it's just, yeah, it's like, just the camera's a bit off, and the gravity's a bit off, and you never quite know which way you're going, and... And, like, all that kind of shit is much better in Galaxy 2. I don't know if Galaxy 2 just doesn't have as many small plants, or they just fix the physics, but I don't remember having issues on, you know, small spherical planets in Galaxy 1 nearly as much. Or Galaxy 2, I should say, nearly as much. Beer, beer, I think it's twice. Hey Simon, thanks for the happy anniversary. Hope you're doing well. What percent are we at? Um something like 35. These are the only goombas in the game that like don't drop anything when killed. They don't drop star they don't drop star bits or coins. I kind of get why they don't drop coins, because it, you know, it's meant to be like a boss rush kind of, or not a boss rush, but you know, a, a, a gauntlet, that's the word I'm looking for kind of thing, and it would kind of be antithetical if, the point of a gauntlet, if every enemy you kill dropped healing. It is just weird to me that these don't, and also they're the only enemies that you can like get that combo meter off of. Oh, there's one more? Where... Where is Goomba? There is Goomba! The most difficult boss rush Goomba. Look, you get the point I'm trying to make. I have died to those Goombas before. Sometimes you get swarmed, like you kill- you jump on one and then three more are around and then just kind of combo you. Can't happen. Yeah. Pranks are comet has appeared. I speedy comet. I I know speedy comet for uh for good egg is not in any percent run, so I'm not gonna do that. I'll go to Battle Rock one. I definitely knew that platform was there, I was not all confused why I hadn't fallen off. Oh, uh, but yes, I mean, we did Mario 64, we did Mario Sunshine, and we are at 13 of 15 stars in Galaxy 2. Or Galaxy 1. I am gonna take a break after this one, uh, because I need more water. Uh, but yeah, after a break, we'll do 3D World. Alright, you Battle Rock Barrage, and then maybe the Cosmic Mario Race and Honey Hive, if that one appears? And if that one doesn't appear... I don't know, I guess Battle Rock 2, maybe? Like a trash collecting star. I don't know. You love this song? Yeah, Battle Rock is also top tier music. I mean, his whole soundtrack's really good, but yeah, Battle Rock's definitely up there.
That's what I get for showboating. I'm just running around like an idiot. Yeah, just honestly, I don't have anything else to say about this galaxy. We're just waiting on an auto scroller, so listen to the music. Really? Start to go. Woohoo! Not quite sub hour. We're at an hour and two minutes on the galaxy split, which includes a little bit of time of switching between games, so not too much. I gotta actually talk to the map, dude. All right. No prankster comment. Um, you know what? Actually, I'll do space check speedy comment. That I think is faster than anything else in Battle Rock. Biggest issue is you can beat three of the star levels just by making a sand- Wait, three of them? I know you have, you know, the first one, and then you have to do the second one. Or you have the first one, and then you have to do the first one again, but with Luigi. Like, to get Luigi, but... I know there's a- there's a third one on the moving but it's definitely not a, um... It's definitely not a wait section, because you have to be getting purple coins all along the auto-scroller. Which actually makes the auto-scroller interesting. Because it's, you know, working against you. It's like the Dreadnought one. But easier than the Dreadnought one. Dreadnought Purple is one of the hardest stars in the game for me. The Comet music in this game is also pretty good. Although, I, I do say, I like the, the Purple Comet theme is the best, in my opinion. The Speedy, I think... The Speedy, I think Daredevil maybe also uses the same... One is, is pretty good. We will also be seeing some Breakers Comets in Galaxy 2. Probably a fair amount of those, actually. Because they start to unlock in World 3. And doing those is definitely going to be way faster than, you know, like, clearing World 3 normally, so... Alright, I'm not going to be an idiot and jump off into the abyss in this section this time, because... In a comet run... In the comet run, you, uh, don't have... Don't have what? You don't have the, um... I can't English right now. You don't have checkpoints, that's what I'm trying to say. I love the... Yeah, I do like how everything is, like, color-coded. So yeah, there's, like, a little hue based on the color of the comet. So it, it's like kind of you can see at the corners the most. It's it's red for this one, and then what yellow for fast flows, blue for cosmic, and I guess like a white or silver. I don't remember the exact color for Daredevil, but something like that. And then obviously purple for purple. Guess the Garden Galaxy was the most disappointing galaxy in one. I like Guess the Garden. And I know, like, people are just gonna say, oh, it's just because of music. No, no, I actually genuinely like the start. I think the... 
I guess the catching the rabbit is kind of an anticlimactic star. Um, anyways, that's 15 stars. Um, catching the rabbit is, I guess, a little bit of an anticlimactic one, but the, the gravity scramble thing at the end of star 3 is cool. I think Major Burrows is a good boss fight. It's got a cool secret star where you have to, you know, collect all the gem, all, all the, all the gems, all the, um, all the question mark coins. Alright. I don't know, I think a secret is pretty cool. Alright, I'm gonna into Common Observatory so you guys have Common Observatory music on break. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go on break, cause yeah, it's been two and a half hours. We've gotten three of the games done. We've got five more to go. Thank y'all for being here so far. I hope you have enjoyed the Mario quote-unquote 100% challenge. Uh, I will be back in a few minutes. Gonna uh, go to BRB, run some quick ads just so people coming in don't get free rolls. I'll be back in three minutes, uh, and we'll be doing 3D World and Bowser's Fury and then Odyssey. And then we'll have to switch over the capture card to the Wii U. Um, but yeah, see you in a bit for some more of 3D Mario action. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back in a couple minutes. Hello! I'm back. Let's pull this back up. 
We've got our three years. We've got our timer. And we're going to switch over to uh, Super Mario 3D World. So let me unpause the timer. And let's switch games. Ah, light mode, I know. You don't have to tell me. Super Mario 3D World! 3D World time! New game! Yay. That is not the character I want to be. <laughs> I forgot the order of the characters. I like how you can skip, skip cutscenes in this game. Just get right in real quick, that hurt my eyes. It, you can deal with fucking light mode for five seconds. Alright! 3D World! Uh, this is one level I did, I don't know what, I don't want to say routing prep for, but I did look at one thing. Which, if you want to call looking into one thing prep, go for it. Uh, because I remember, I know that, um, that what? That'll make it right now. Um, Sorry, this game goes so quickly, I forgot how fucking fast this is. Um... Yeah, so I know World 2... Uh, ends with a long... Uh, auto-scroller. And I was wondering if it was possible... You son of a bitch. Come on, the cat suit. Um... I was wondering if it was possible to, you know, get all the green stars I need... Uh, before the World 2 Auto Scroller at the end of the world. Um, turns out no, there isn't. Uh, because I did check, and I think I need 48. I'll double check my thing, but I think I need 48 of the uh, of the collectible, uh, 48 of the green stars, and yeah, there's. 48, including the World 2 auto scroll. So I have to clear World 2. And because I have to clear World 2, I think it's worth it to take the secret exit out of 1 2. Um. Yeah, I think, I think it's worth it to take this secret exit. Because. If I have to do the World 2 Auto Scroll, I don't think it's worth, you know, also doing the World 1 boss. And as much as it sucks not getting the fast 5 Captain Toad stars in World 1, we can get Captain Toad in World 3. And, um... Yeah, just overall, I don't think it's worth, uh... Like, I don't want to have to do the World 1 boss or the World 1 enemy ambush, because those are both, you know, slow. And, yeah, I just don't think it's worth it. And, yeah, in the, in the Plessy Star, yeah. Like, the, the one, one, four, one, five are not fast stages either, so... I just don't think it makes any sense. I just don't think it makes any sense to play out World 1. If I could skip World 2 Auto Scroller by playing out World 1, I would. Uh, but as is, we're just gonna get our green stars, get our stamp, uh, and then book it to World 2. And we'll just do some extra stuff in World 3. Because World 3, I think, there's some pretty quick stages at the start. Like, there's the one stage that's literally a 100 second long stage. I am also assuming that in getting all the green stars, I will necessarily get all the stamps, so I'm not going to do the stamp house. World 3 has a Mario Kart level. I don't think I'm going to get all the way to the Mario Kart level, to be honest. I might, we'll see. One thing, I haven't really thought this through other than knowing you need to clear World 2. Also, this is not a stage I feel comfortable running through as Toad because there are narrow platforms, so we're going to be able to eat. Is this the one where there's a stamp just like right, or a green star just like right up here? Yes. 
Everything else is much closer to the end of the level. Ah, oh, shit, that's bad. So this one has, like, the, the conch door one, where you have to get the conch door to destroy a thing. And then the one that's the, the toad. Alright, I guess it's a fire flower, better than nothing. Yeah, this section in particular is why I did not want to be toad for this level. Because I think it's fat it's hard enough to control as the character that doesn't move way too fast. Also, this is the most impossible to miss stamp in the entire game. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot how fucking fast 3D World is. It's been six minutes, and a lot of that is just getting everything set up. And we are... We've beaten three levels. We're just zooming. We are just zooming. Yeah, no, Wii U version is much slower. I don't know what's the bigger ch honestly, I don't know what's the bigger change. The fact that, like, it seems like every character has, like, a 1.5x movement buff, or the fact that, um, or the fact that, or the fact that, uh, you have a dive now. Honestly, both of those are pretty huge. We're not gonna do that Bowser level, that's the, like, one which used to use, you know, the Wii U gamepad controls to, like, blow into it and shit. But, uh, we're not gonna do that, cause that's just... Not gonna... that that's a slow stage. As far as I can remember. Where am I going?! <laughs> Okay, maybe not more- like, I know the 1.5 XP is more noticeable. Uh, but just in terms of what does more for making it a better version of the game. Like, I think if you had to ask me, would you rather from base 3D world add a dive or add movement speed, I would have said add a dive. Because I- I didn't have any problems with, you know, 3D world movement speed as is. But the dive definitely adds a, a good layer to the- the moveset. Really? The dive is very nice speed figure. Alright, I guess I have unpopular opinion here, that's fair. I do think this speed can be a little too hard to control sometimes, but especially as Toad, but whatever. Yo, it's Cardboard Bowser! I remember this being a topic of, not controversy, I was just the one stirring this up, but in Evan's Champion's Challenge where he was trying to, like, not kill enemies, I kept raising the question of, is that Cardboard Bowser an enemy? It is cardboard, but it also dies and gives you points like a normal enemy would, so... Also, generally cut down on saving prompts. That is true. The, the game just flows a lot quicker. I thought the ambush was here. I guess it's the next stage. Alright, uh... This one I need to be Mario to get the stamp. Okie dokie! Let's go! Let's go! They've used almost every character, actually. Oh wait, no, it's right there. You sure did, Mario. Congratulations. Okay, that might have been an ambitious jump. Are there no Kaisos here? I thought there were Kaisos. Huh. Must be misremembering. Well, good thing we had the back of cat suit. Wii U version is A tier game, Switch is S tier. In my mind, both are A tier, but this version might be an A plus.
or an A versus an A minus. Like, I don't think it's a full tier, but it's definitely movement within the tier. Unless you factor in, or me, I don't know, maybe if you also factor in the fact that there's online multiplayer now, that, that does definitely help. Generally one of the best ports out there. Yeah, I mean, great. I have there's only two games I own both on Switch and Wii U. Um, it's this and Mario Kart 8. I guess I guess technically Galaxy I own on both versions, 3D All Stars and not 3D All Stars, but all right, we're at five stamps out of eleven. We're at how many greens? Only 15. Okay, we're still very much needing a lot more greens. Uh, well, we're definitely gonna go into this mystery house. Okay, maybe I am actually. Now that I think about it, maybe I am gonna get all the way through World Three. Welcome to the mystery house. I don't think I want to do the World 3 boss, so if I get to the point where I need to do that, I guess I'll go back to World 1 or something, or do the extra levels in World 2, but... Maybe I'll get to the Mario Kart level after all, we'll see. Please. Odyssey is a tier game for me, it doesn't reach the heights of this regard. Odyssey is literally my favorite game of all time. So, to me, that does reach max height. I do think the movement in Odyssey is way better than the movement in this game. At some point, I should probably actually switch away from Mario, but it doesn't really matter for these stages that are just, you know, combat. You know, the Odyssey, but favorite game of all times a lot. I mean, one some game has to be your favorite game of all time, right? <laughs> I have to have a favorite game of all time. Why not, Odyssey? Also, like, my favorite game genre is 3D platformer, so... <laughs> and I just happen to think Odyssey is the best one out there. Oh, I didn't realize the other Luigi just fucking died. Uh, one sec. Hold it, hold it. Oh my god. Get the thing, thank you. I did not- I could not have landed perfectly- more perfectly on that double cherry if I tried. I have three very decent Luigi's right now. Also, I don't actually know why I was bothering getting the red coins. I think for some reason I thought they were mandatory, I just forgot what section of the level I was in. I know you can do this with 90 degree wall jump, so I'll try for like a minute and then use the cat suit. Okay, never mind. What? Probably it was just more towards the camera than I realized. Whatever. Double Cherry is such a cool power up. So, what's your favorite game of all time, Colin? Meow. 
The fact that getting a random rock in the ground is worth the exact same as a really tough platforming challenge really rubs me the wrong way. I guess on the one hand I get that, on the other hand... I don't know, I think it's nice because it's like... It's the opposite of Sunshine in that regard, where like... Maybe it's better to do something like Galaxy or Galaxy 2, where like, you know, some stars are required, but... You have some flexibility in what you get. Sunshine, you have zero flexibility in what you get, and Odyssey, you have complete flexibility in what you get. I like the complete flexibility more, I just think it adds more from a game design perspective. I don't want a second fire flower, I just want to use a fire flower here because I want to save a cat for a different level to be honest in case I happen to get hit. There's a very real chance I mess up one of the green stars here because it requires me to keep one of the cannon boxes the entire level. Who the fuck is it? I need to just not get hit for a, a, a long time. I guess this Oscar, honestly, this Oscar isn't even as long as I remembered it being. This is the stage I was like really trying to avoid having to do, but it's actually, now that I think about it, it's not the world's longest auto scroll. There are ones, I, I think I'm thinking of some other ones in this game, like the trains, or like, especially. What is it? The, the world. Six boss, it's just the world six boss level is just a very, very long auto scroller. actually successfully did that without getting hit, which I don't think I did in the race against Devin. Welcome back, Rain. We have finished Galaxy. We are on to 3D World. This is a really funny cutscene when I have the fucking cannon box on. It's just staring at Luigi with a box on his head and you can't even really tell who it is. Just It's just pure green. The Minecraft creeper. One person thought Odyssey was an awful game just for bench buddies? Why? Why do you have that strong of opinions on bench buddies of all things? Sometimes forcing you to get seven times each stage is annoying, but at least most of the bad ones aren't shiny. It's not even an issue with the shines themselves, it's an issue with making all the blue coins useless for beating the game, and all the, um... And all the, which one, all the Delfino Plaza shines. And if you happen to get one of the harder eight shines, those also don't help you for shit, so... Yeah, this game is just so fast. They made a three-hour video essay on why Odyssey is a bad game. That is a lot of video. Uh -huh. yeah. Snowball Park. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not gonna do the gain super fast ice speed thing. So normally you need to like keep a keep a propeller for the end of the level, but not in this version because you have a dive <laughs> and you just jump real high and you can do the classic like wall jump off of the same wall, like wall jump and dive back into the wall maneuver. 
Bunny, I'm I'ma need you. Bunny. Bunny! Oh, you can go back up. I guess you do. I guess you are a bunny. You have hops. There we go. All I had to do was light a bunny's hair on fire or something. Ah! I hate the stamp. <laughs> I let's try that again. Oh, god damn it. Oh, now there's a poke burning it. We're fine. We're totally fine. I just missed the pipe! How do you miss the pipe like that? Jesus Christ, I am bad. <laughs> just fucking... After all that, I died of just trying to roll into the pipe. I was just trying to do, like... I was trying to do that, and I just rolled off the edge. Thankfully, it didn't really cost much time, but... A plus gameplay. What do you expect from the Apple Singer stream other than just the world's best gameplay? They made a three hour video essay on why Odyssey is a bad game, and they made a remark about Breath of the Wild being better, and they also had a four hour video essay on why Breath of the Wild is bad. Are they just doing this to be contrarian? Like, I don't believe this is a real person anymore. <laughs> stage is that? Like, which stage is this? No, that's an auto scroll. We're not doing that stage. I also want to do this stage anyway so I can get access to Captain Toad. <laughs> what, what, I'm, I'm actually genuinely curious. What games do they think are good? Rain does raise a question. Hi, I just want the power-up that's in this box. And it was definitely not worth all that time to get. This is also not the secret. I think it's a... I think that's a green star in, like, one of the... The shiftier Boo Mansion or something. <laughs> Breath of the Wild is hella overrated. I never really got into it for whatever reason. I, I, I've been telling myself I should play Breath of the Wild for years, and I just never really did. It's the cow too. I thought I could sneak between that blue and a wall. That is not, in fact, anything I was able to do. Ooh, I love Luigi's sound effects. I got a green star? Ooh. So one more is behind me. Or is this a clock? It's a one up. Neither of the things I thought it could be. For some reason I thought that was the one where I, I don't actually remember. Now that I think about it, I don't even fucking remember where the third green story is here. I thought it was that. Clearly that was wrong. Uh. Oh, is it the one that's out here? No, just going, where the hell? Oh, is this not the end of the stage? This is not the end of the stage, right? I, I always think that towards the end of the stage, I'm like, where's the third green star? I haven't gotten to the end of the stage. In this room, there's another couch, I think. I don't know. This, this stage always trips me up, especially because there's the other stage that is, like, very, very similar. Yeah, this is the pipe that you ground pound and it surprised other green objects. Okay. 
Yo, it's the goal! Wait, what? It's not... I've been duped. I've been had. Where the world feels so empty. Disagree. Where the world feels filled with constant distractions. They have a video called Steven Sausage Roll, the best puzzle game I've ever played. I have genuinely heard good things about that game, to be fair. That might actually be a good game. For sure you aren't meant to get all 900 Koroks, given that the reward is literally shit. I mean, that's fair. It sounds shovelware. I don't actually think it is. I think it's actually a good game. I could be wrong, but I do think it's actually a good game. I'm not used to the Captain Toad tutorial being in this level, because it's rare that I would do this as the first Captain Toad, but... Yeah, just because I took the secret exit. Where are we going? Ah, there. Shout out to the fact that these levels were so good and so popular that they literally made an entire fucking game. Everyone's like, man, these Captain Toad levels are so good, they could, like, be their own game. And then Nintendo's like, you know what? Bet. <laughs> we need Captain Toad 2. Captain Toad tracks treasure again. Honestly, though, yeah, sequel would be good. Uh, where am I going? Ah, yeah, here. For some reason, I always forget the path through this stage, even though it's not that complicated. There we go. I have heard the dungeons are relatively uninspiring in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah. Oh. Alright, this is the stage I have to be Peach for. Hello. Pretty much, gotcha. oh. I would like to not be small, but without burning through my backup power up. Got how annoying catching this bunny is as Peach, because Peach is just not fast. Build up running speed is probably the best way to go about it. Also, I didn't. How was my green star total at? I don't even know. Oh, I thought I was dead. Not gonna lie, I thought I was dead. Have you played Tears of the Kingdom at all, Rain? This level is what happens when the intern gets five minutes to make a level. It is a very bare bones level. <laughs> I don't hate- it is weird when 3D World randomly throws in a short level. Because there's also that one in World 5 that's like a hundred second level that's even smaller than this. I don't hate the level, it is just kind of weird. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay. So I need one more stamp. And how many more green stars? Okay, I forgot about- okay. So it's this dude, and then I need two more stages more. Okay, I can do that. Luigi time! Bike time! 
don't remember what 3-5 is. Oh, that's the underwater level, isn't it? Ick. So I guess we will end on the Mario Kart stage. I guess I lied when they said we weren't doing the Mario Kart stage. Because this is working out. Because I'd rather do the Mario Kart stage in the, than the Fuzzler stage. Which are going to be my two options after beating this water level. The abilities you get in Tears of the Kingdom don't work for making good puzzles like Breath of the Wild does. Ah. Right, do I remember where anything is in this stage? I don't. <laughs> One more stamp and six more green stars. I also need this power up. Ooh, leaf. I forgot you could get a leaf this early. Cause I don't think you can get a leaf from like a normal non-random power up box at this point. Uh, is there one over here? Fuck if I remember. No, that just goes there. Is there one down here? No, that just goes there. Doesn't help that this is another stage that has a variant of it later. Okay, that's the first one. That time we got good dungeons was on the Wii. I'm assuming you're not counting remakes. are just money, which is why that one always confuses me, because I don't think it should have anything more than just money, but it does. Alright. My memory did not actually fail me in this stage. We got everything. Let's go. I have never played Link Between Worlds because I don't own a 3DS, which is also the reason why, um, which is also the reason why 3D Land, uh, is not part of this, because I just, I can't play it, I don't own it. <laughs> I've heard really good things about Link Between Worlds. Alright, that is 11 stamps, which is all the ones we need. 11 out of 85. Uh, we need to get 48 out of 380. But thankfully, uh, we'll, we're one level away. 3D World ended up being pretty quick. This will be around uh, under 40 minutes, unless the stage goes horrible. Yeah, also 3D has capture cards, but... That's also true. Wait, I actually need cards for this level. There's that one secret that needs it. That's a fair point. That even if I owned a 3DS, I probably wouldn't be able to stream on it. No, wait, it's down here. I forget. I always forget which way the, uh... I forgot which side the fucking thing was. It was that one. Ah, uh, wait, shit, now I don't have a cat suit. Uh, that's a problem. That's actually a big problem. I don't think there's any easy way for me to get a 
I don't think there's any way, easy way for me to get that green star at the end of the level now. Because I also lost my backup cat with the getting the leaf. Yeah, this has actually just been, this is just bad. Alright. Yeah, because that's the stamp up there. Maybe with the momentum in this game you can somehow make this, but I don't think so. Yeah, you can't. Okay, I gotta replay this. So maybe this won't be sub 40 just because how bad this last level is going. But there's no point in doing a different level now because there's no one level I can do this faster. Unless I like play through 1, 2 again and do the enemy ambush, but there's no way that's faster than just doing this normally. Maybe try hovering. Yeah, I'll pick Peach next time just in case that somehow works. So not Green Star House, not in this world, no. It's it though they alternate worlds between having a Captain Toad level and having the Mystery House. I I would have to either replay this, which I think is better, or replay this, or go play a different level. But this is faster than most levels. Like I think playing through like 3-7 which I technically could do, or 3-2, the, um, but that's an auto-scroller, or go, or go back to world 1, like, none of those really feel like faster options than just doing this right. Oh. I didn't use a leaf? I didn't think you could make it with a leaf. I didn't think about that, to be fair, but I, I genuinely didn't think you could make it with a leaf. Didn't think you'd have enough height. Actually, what I should do... ...is just keep the cat in reserve, and then bring it back at the end. Well, a couple minor hiccups in 3D World, but... Overall, I don't think it's been too bad. last green star, let's complete the stage so it actually adds to the total. Uh, and yeah, that is one-eighth of our 3D world done in 40 minutes. Which some of us doesn't actually feel that fast, but 3D world is a fucking huge game. I thought this would be closer to an hour, so sub one's actually good. Alright. And we'll call time when this counts up. 48. Awesome. Alright, Tobias, I don't know if you're still here, but it's Bowser's Fury time. I don't know if you're still here, Tobias. You probably went to Evan's stream, if I'm being honest. But, blink and you'll miss it, because this game goes fast. We need 13 of the 100 cat shines. That's again rounded up from 12.5. I know you can vector here, but I don't really know how. I don't even think I need to fight Fury Bowser. Why am I going this way? <laughs> I don't even think I need to fight Fury Bowser to get. 13 shines here. Also, oh boy, I forgot how laggy this part was. Yeah, because that's, you know, one shine, cat shine. And you can just get, you have access to three islands immediately. You can get four on each of those, plus there's a couple secret ones. <laughs> we need a switch too. Fair enough. Alright, let's skip that. I forgot I could skip that earlier. Yeah, so we're halfway done in a little over three hours, which maybe puts on pace for six hours. 
I will say of all the games, I believe uh, this second half has the two fastest games and the two slowest games. Because this game has Bowser's Fury, which is very fast, and 6040S, which is very fast for me. For most people, 64 would be faster, but for me, 6040S. But it also has Galaxy 2, which is gonna be like maybe multiple hours just because, um. Where am I going? I totally did not really realize. I have really that other cats. Um. Sorry, what was I saying? Yeah, so, uh, it's got, yeah, slow, slow and fast, so... Yeah, it's got, you know, this game, which is super fast, 64DS, which is super fast for me, but then also Odyssey, which is just a lot. Um... And Galaxy 2, which is a lot, because I need 31 stars, because it's out of 242, not out of 120. So... Don't know if this- oh, come on. Overall, I do not know if this will be faster or so- I guess I'll get this while I'm here. Uh, overall, I don't know whether this will be faster or slower than the first half. Because the first half had a lot of more middling games, like Sunshine, Galaxy, Wind, 3D World were all kind of average games in terms of, uh, in terms of length, I think. I don't know, we'll see. Basically, in other words, I don't know which side of the prediction should feel good right now. When you switch two, it feels weird that this... ...runs at 30 FPS handheld mode. Yeah! I wanted to avoid that cutscene. As I said, I don't think I actually want to fight Fury Bowser. If, if Fury Bowser shows up, I just want to use him to, uh... To what? You know, to just break the, um... To just break some of the Fury blocks and get a free cat shine. Kick went down after the XQC stuff. Is XQC even actively streaming on there yet, or is it just like in anticipation? Ah, where'd I I missed the thing? Shit, where'd I miss the... Is it in here? Where'd I miss the cat shine piece? I kinda need it. Oh, it's up there. Uh, how do I get over there? I guess I'll just go back around. And by that I mean fall all the way back down. Okay, that works too. Oh yeah, I totally forgot there was one up here. Uh, give me that. I'm just constantly switching between Catsuit and Boomerang at this point, because this level kind of makes you want both. Constant switching back and forth between power-ups. Please fire the way I am pressing. Holy shit. Where is this thing in 3D space? Also, Bowser's already here? Damn. I didn't realize that was that slow. But I'd only gotten, like, five shines before he showed- Or, like, I guess I- I guess I was at three, but I'll be at five pretty soon. Actually, I'll be at six pretty soon. Thank you, Bowser Jr. Yeah, I'll be at 6 very soon. Okay, yeah, whatever. Well, he's gonna go away right now. And that's fine.
Here we go down and get that one. I, I don't know if you can make that. I'm certainly not good enough at the momentum of this game to make that, but... Theoretically, you probably can. Death Star, Bowser Jr. points out the existence of the Death Star. This is always so funny to me that they have the fucking literal Death Star in this game. Like, why did they feel the need to do that? Here's one back here. Genuinely, why did they feel the need for the fucking Death Star in this game? I don't get it. But whatever, I'm not Nintendo. Uh, where are we going? I guess let's go back this way. We'll be back in this island later. Um. Okay, for now, I guess let's go. <laughs> the Mario Maker 2 levels really inspired me. They saw all the Death Stars in Mario Maker 2. I'm like, what's just. They're like. Why did we just make that? Crazy how the flip panels were introduced in Galaxy 2 and flip swap. I like them better in Galaxy 2 than I do in the other games. Like, I like the idea of them being, you know... Uh, I like the idea of them being tied to something that's, like, independent. Like, I, I like the idea of them being... I like them being tied to spinning more than jumping. It's just easier to control when it's something, like, independent of, you know, your main method of movement. I get why they wanted to bring them back, because they're pretty Cool mechanically, and I get, and I understand why they did it the way they did it. I just think it's better in uh, the Galaxy 2. Let's go get to the last two things here. One there, one in this tree. Also, yeah, literally everything is a fucking cat in this game, <laughs> including the actual cats, who you pick up way more often than you would like. Oh my God! Case and fucking point. How many are we at? Nine? Alright. Uh let's go back let's go back to the first island actually. Oh, is Bowser about to show up? I don't know if I can beat, like, I don't know if I can beat Luigi soon enough. I can't, okay. Yes, actually, where is Bowser? Uh... I actually want... Where are the Fury Blocks? They're over here, right? Yo, Bowser, you wanna throw a fire... Where did it go? This way? I'm gonna throw a fire like right here. I don't even know where Bowser is. 
Yo, Bowsmans, where the fuck are you? Actually, where the fuck are you? Bowser, over here! Jesus Christ. So we gotta go beat Luigi, and then we gotta go back to that other island, and I think there's like one more enemy rush, which one's gonna be pretty easy with Devstar. Uh, and Luigi's just chilling over there at two-thirds health. <laughs> the insanely intense Luigi race. Yeah, except for it. we just come back to it later, not a big deal. We gotta turn around at some point, right? I'm actually weirdly used to doing this while on Plessy. But I haven't unlocked Plessy yet, because I normally would have fought Fury Bowser by this point, but I'm just not, because it's not worth it. Alright, one more. Uh, where was that island? Yeah, I think, because I think the... The last one I need on uh, the Boomerang Island is like a key, which is annoying to retrieve, so it's going to be faster to go back over to Fort Flat Trap. I like Bowser just swinging his paintbrush at absolutely nothing. Pop off, Bowser Jr. Use the same Death Star again. You know, Bowser Jr., sure. Oh my god! I did not expect him to ground pound into the lava. Alright, that was 13 cat shines in about 13 minutes. Awesome. Uh, that's Bowser's Fury. Next up, longer game, Mario Odyssey. I realize I never fucking switched a game. It still says Galaxy, doesn't it? Sure does. I forgot the Switch game while I was in break. Well... Cool, I lied to Twitch for like a solid hour. Super Mario Odyssey! Alright, here we go! Bowser's Fury Galaxy, same game! Yeah, basically same game, why not? Alright, it should say Mario Odyssey now, please let me know if it doesn't. Alright, so we need to get a lot of shit here. We need to get 110 moons, which is obviously a lot. Uh, my guess is I'll end up going through Metro Kingdom. There is a speedrun, like, miscellaneous category or category extension of this game. Uh, with... There's a category extension of this game with, called 124 moons. Which, for those of you who don't know, 124 moons is the required number of moons to beat the game, but they have to, you know, be, you know, 5 from Cascade, 16 from Sand, etc. Um... But, there is, like, a separate category that just get 124 moons as fast as you can. Yeah, Hugh, welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for the raid. Uh... Were you, were you, were you doing, uh, Fall Guys Friday? Welcome in, Hugh and Raiders. We are doing, uh, a three-year streamversary. I am doing what I am calling quote-unquote 100% in the 3D Mario series. What does that mean, you may ask? Uh, it means I'm going through each of the eight 3D Mario games that I own and getting 12.5% uh, of the main collectibles in each of those. If you want to see the exact stuff I've been doing, you, uh, you can check exclamation mark rules. We have just started game number 6 of 8, which is Mario Odyssey. 
Uh, and this is gonna be a bit of a doozy. So, we need 110 moons, which is a crap ton of moons. And we also need 125 total regional coins. Uh, enough captures, which should be pretty easy. But also enough outfits and souvenirs. So we gotta get coins, we gotta spend our purple coins. Um, but yeah, we've so far beaten, we've done one-eighth of Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy 1, Mario 3D World, and Bowser's Fury. We're working on Odyssey now, and then we gotta switch over to the Wii U, where we're gonna do 64DS and Galaxy 2. Welcome in, Thunder Switch. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for the happy anniversary. Or Randall failed us? I don't even know what that means. Are you in a, uh, a Fall Guys squad or something right now? Also, how'd the Fall Guys Friday go? <laughs> Randall is a random person in the squad, got it. Fall Guys was good until your game crashed. Yeah, that sounds like Fall Guys on Switch. Gamed out of 3v1 in Blast Ball? Nice. <laughs> Alright, so we're definitely going to be sitting in Cascade a lot longer than we usually would in any percent, because Cascade actually has like a lot of just free moons that are just chilling. And a lot of purple coins, and we need a lot of both. So... I'm not gonna do Dino Skip just because I actually want to go through the other way to get that uh, one moon in the 2D section. Also, I think it'll be useful to have the checkpoints. So yeah, I will say one thing in this game that I won't be able to keep track of that normally I would count as part of uh, getting 100% is there is a tracker for number of music tracks unlocked. And I would want to get, you know, whatever the number, one-eighth of those. The problem is you don't actually see the music list until after you beat the game. And since I'm not going to be beating the game, I can't really see the music list, so... I really did not want to activate that platform. So I'm just going to kind of go under the assumption that you know, getting all the way to, like, Metro or Seaside or whatever kingdom I end up needing to go to. Like, when I- by- by the time I do that, I will have gotten, like, ten of the soundtracks in this game out of the, um... Out of the- out of the, uh, like, 80. I think it's 82, so you normally need 11. I'm just gonna assume I'm gonna get 11 just by virtue of going to all the different kingdoms. I don't think I've heard own them like a used car before. That's pretty funny. I'm also trying just to get coins, because I'll probably need coins later to buy both outfits and moons. I would like to buy- Cascade King has a lot of easy purple coins, which, like, I am collecting. I would like to also be able to buy, you know, the outfits and souvenirs, but you can't do that on your first capture Cascade. I may come back to Cascade later if I need them, but I can probably get the requisite outfits and souvenirs just by through the other kingdoms. <laughs> what a babe. My first time I ever played this game, I think I've told the story in a million times before, but the first time I ever played Odyssey, I was in college, I was playing in the common room of my suite. It was the night it came out, it was like midnight right after it came out. And I get to this boss fight, and my roommate just yells, DAMN SHE THICK! And that has just stuck with me ever since.
<laughs> not wrong, though. Yeah. To your point, not wrong. Yeah. Alright. So, we're, we could leave now, but we're definitely not going to, because we're just going to get a bunch of moons and shit. So, we need 110 moons. I currently have six of them. Now I'm going to get some purples, because there's, as I said, a lot of easy purples here. You don't want to have to worry too much about purples later. Although I probably will get a few purples in each kingdom. Uh, just for the sake of... Buying outfits and souvenirs. But I don't want to, like... Overstress them. Like, I want... Like, Cascade and Sand have a lot of easy purples. And I'm planning on just getting most of my purples there. We have 27. Uh, we need a total of 125 because there are exactly 1,000 purple coins in this game. But after playing a lot of bingo, 125 total purples is like nothing. That was a very loud motorcycle that just passed by outside. Probably didn't pick up on camera. Also, shout out to Toby, aka Fungibucks in chat, for drawing the, the three years thing that's in the bottom right corner of stream right now. At least if I haven't fucked up the layout, it should be there. How am I, how am I gonna track what? Total purple? I mean, you can go to the map and see. I can also just remember the number I'm at and do this thing called addition. The other thing is I'll probably just pull up a calculator app on my phone and just type in how many I get in each kingdom. Captain Toad. And if you can remember that, you have a way better memory. Just remembering how many purple coins, it's just a number, it's just like a running total. It's not like Bingo where I'm trying to remember like five different things at once. Like Bingo, I'm used to remembering more because I have to think about purple coins and then also, you know, like timer challenges and all that stuff. Here is just, you know, total moon count, which the game keeps track of for you. In other words, really, Bingo is just good practice for remembering a lot of random shit. So purple coins over here. I'm gonna go do the dino sub area just because it'll, I'll, get, I'll get a lot of coins from it. It's not the world's fastest set of two moons, but it's not slow. Uh, and it'll and I said it'll get me a lot of coins, which I I do need because I will want to buy moons and I'll want to buy souvenirs. Or not souvenirs. Souvenirs are purple coins. I want to buy moons and I want to buy outfits because I need six outfits. Well, yeah, I need six hats and six. Costumes or whatever the bottom half is called. It does give you one extra hat for free, the captain's hat. But the bottom half is more expensive anyways. So also gets another capture, although once again I don't think I'm really worrying on captures. Purple coins specifically without the menu. Just remembering the total number of purple coins. I don't know. This rough estimations of like, yeah, I got about 30 there and 40 there and whatever. But yeah, we're, we're gonna destroy all the rocks and just get as many coins as we can. I know there's glitches to like get, you know, a lot of... Okay, wait, I need to go down here. Actually, I forgot where the secret was. Dino, fall off the ledge. Thank you. Okay, that's almost too far, but... Once again, Bingo has definitely prepped me for this. This is like Bingo, but... I need... But like, only total goals. I guess 110 moons is more than normally shows up on a Bingo, but stuff like, you know... <laughs> stuff like, you know, 7 captures or whatever the capture is, 6 outfits, and... Oh, I ran out of Dino. I guess I'm going a little slower to try to get more coins, so whatever. It's just these hands left. I can do that without Dino. I will take damage, though, which costs like a couple seconds. But yeah, this is just. 100 damn moons is more than you get in anything other than like a long bingo, maybe. And even then, probably not. 
Alright, that's gonna be it for Cascade Kingdom. We got 15 moons and 37 purples, I think, which is pretty good numbers. And we're doing pretty decent uh, total coin-wise, too. Alright. I'm gonna open my calculator app and just type in 37. <laughs> Purple coins I actually don't think should be an issue. I'm, I need to, you know, get outfits and, and total moons. Total moons is going to be a big issue, obviously. I'm not really sure if I even want to get too, too many moons in Sand Kingdom specifically. Because a lot of moons are, like, either out of the way or need story progression. I don't really want to run through the whole story, so... I'll get more than... The requisite 16, but I'm probably not gonna- I'm not getting like 30 here. I might get like 20 or 25 or something. And a lot of purples and buy some outfits. And souvenirs. I, sh I need to prioritize buying souvenirs over buying outfits because those are only with purples and outfits I can at least try to buy with normal coins, but I will want to do a mix. We're gonna make sure to get this checkpoint so that I can basically when I'm done with the kingdom warp back to the shop. Yo, that was the most lucky bird timing ever. It just happened to be right there. Get Luigi. Get this moon. Yeah, we're making a lot of moons. Um, I don't know how long this will take. I'm hoping I can do this under 10 moons thing in under an hour. There's also going to be a lot of menuing with shopping and stuff, so the so it might, it might be over an hour, but we'll see. Probably will be over an hour. I don't know. We'll see. My segment timer is currently at 15 or at 16. It just hit 16 minutes. Now that also includes some time between games, and not all that is you know. It's probably like subtract a minute or so to get to when I actually started playing Odyssey, but yeah. Yo, first try ground pound, let's go. <laughs> Way harder than you think it is. I don't know how that worked. I was trying to do a side flip, but I did a normal jump. I thought I was gonna get caught on that lip. Got very lucky that that, ended still, that still ended up working. God damn it. I will come back for that box moon later. I'm just gonna do the two- I'm gonna get the two moons and, what, seven purple coins up here? Um, and then I'll come back down and kind of pick up where the normal any percent route does at that box. If that makes sense, I'm just kind of- Once again, I'm not getting too, too much extra here, just a little bit, but... I will also definitely get the Sphinx Moon, just because, again, coins are kind of important to be getting.
Sand Kingdom is really cool. I think Sand Kingdom is decent. It's not my favorite kingdom. I, I like, I mean, I like the aesthetics of it, but it just, a lot of it just feels very empty. I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's a desert. You wouldn't necessarily expect, you know, a desert to not be empty, but there's just large parts of it where you're just rolling around doing nothing. It is fun to roll around in Sand Kingdom, but it's like, People, I, I heard people that, like, you know, I love Bob on Battlefield in Mario 64, so you know, this big open play space just to fuck around with the movement, and it's just like, that's never been, I don't agree with that take, like, I would rather have more complete full areas where the movement, you know, actually feels like it's accomplishing something versus just rolling around for the sake of rolling around. Because as good as the movement is in this game, it's satisfying because, you know, you do cool tricks to get moons, not because you do cool tricks just for the sake of doing it. I mean, maybe I'm just accidentally insulting the trick jumping community, but even then, it's more of a purpose to do a trick jump than just roll around in the fucking empty desert. Use the thing is the worst. It's always been pretty mid for me. Like, B tier, C tier kingdom. I'm gonna do the one sub area here because it's pretty quick. Wait, what am I doing? Well... It's another capture, I definitely don't need it, but... You really like luncheon? My favorites have always been Wooded and Metro. I also really like the aesthetic of Bowser's Kingdom. Just really cool style. I disagree with my jump not happening there. You're boring and you think Metro is the best? I mean, there's a reason a lot of people think it's good. And it ain't because it's a bad kingdom. <laughs> I honestly think my Odyssey is is the best game of all time take that I've said earlier. I think that I thought that was what people would call boring in Normandy, but it seems like not. I like I would say wooded favorite, then Metro, then I don't know. And then there's like a tier of like Bowser's Seaside no. Yeah, probably those three next. And then, like, luncheon below that, and then, I don't know, maybe sand. I have a tier list out there somewhere, I don't remember. Cascade is good, it's just, like, to me, Cascade is, like, half a kingdom. Like, Cascade is, a sm like, one of the smaller kingdoms in the game. It's definitely- I, I still love that Mr. Question Face is an option for, uh, for what the dude's name is. Half the people you talk to about 3D Zeldas is their favorite. For me, it's always been 3D Mario. Actually, I'm gonna go in here again. I would normally never go in here, but... It's got that fat sack of cash. And I would like to, you know, probably buy a moon in most if not all kingdoms, ideally, and definitely buy some outfits, so. Because I don't know if I'm going to buy every single outfit with a regional coin, because I also need to save some regional coins for buying souvenirs.
Oh god. Also, it's been a while since I've done this room. I'm pretty sure this is a room that you do to get, like, the moon that would normally be the Jaxi skip moon. What did I jump off of? I am trying to wall jump, and the game is just not letting me wall jump. Alright, I'm gonna go over here and get the moon. She was trying to beat Chuck Quizmo. Then I'm gonna do this. And then we're just gonna leave this way and I'll do Jaxi Skip normally. I think that was worth the effort for the money. It might not have been, but... We got the money, we got some regionals, we got the moon. It can't be that bad of a use of my time. Alright, I guess we're getting closer to 25. We also have almost half of our purple coin total already, because we had 37, so we're at 73. Actually, way over half. It's not 150. We have... Oh, shit, I failed it. Uh, can I survive? No. For favorite game, Galaxy 2, second favorite, Xenoblade. Xenoblade's one. I have heard... I mean, yeah, I've heard really good things about Xenoblade. I don't really play RPGs, so... Probably will never play Xenoblade, but... Totally respect that opinion. Alright, second try, every try. Alright, I may have overdone it on these regional coins, given that I'm at 77 already. And I still want to get, like, 10 to 15 per kingdom just to buy out- 10 to 20 per kingdom just to buy outfits and stuff. So I did not need to get as many in Cascade as I did, but they were not really out- Like, none of the purple coins I've gotten have really been that far out of the way, you know? All the main Xenoblade games are on Switch is cool. That's fair, yeah. Yeah, I go to the shop and buy some shit. So let's spend our 40 regional coins. Alright, let's get... We got... A, let's get a sticker. So that- the stickers and souvenirs are actually in one list, so that's that. Alright. So we got a full outfit, and we've got two souvenirs. And then let's buy a moon. And then let's get out of here. I- I really do feel like I'm playing Odyssey Bingo right now. Alright, we have 77 total purples. Uh, we've got... How many? Is that 40 moons already? It's a lot. I think it's 40. The new one not switch is Xenoblade Chronicles X, which is stuck on the Wii U and doesn't need to be played at all to enjoy the others. Got it. Alright. 
So, we have three hats, two outfits, um, 77 purples, and I think 40 moons, so we're making pretty good progress. Off to Lake Kingdom. Uh, yeah, I really just want to get, like, enough purples to get, like, a souvenir and an outfit. So probably, like, 15 purples. Yeah, I think I'll just get 15 purples here. And then a bunch of moons. I don't know how many a bunch is, but... Some. More than eight. For some reason, I thought the moon spawned in the middle. It does not spawn there. Alright. We took some notes. Thank you, Cappy. That was a great jump. Get that checkpoint, and then I think I'm gonna do like any percent route. But then after fighting Rango, I'll just do some other stuff. I think that makes the most sense to me. <laughs> the Xenoblade DLC 2 story was big enough that they released it separately as its own game. Really? I did not know that. That's wild. Tentatively, I think, and I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'll probably end in Metro Kingdom here. That's my best guess. I think the, like, optimal route for that 124 category I mentioned uh, ends in Seaside, or at least that's what I vaguely remember. So... 110, I think it would make sense to be one kingdom short of that. But I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how things shake out. Right, let's go fight Rango. That is definitely a thing we should do. Where'd my end capture go? Where'd my wall jump go? Okay, well that sucks. Whatever, not the end of the world. Right. Get this checkpoint, that is important because we'll probably be warping to there basically immediately. Nice. Oh my god. When Ringo goes bad, it goes really bad. But then sometimes it goes really well. And <laughs> somehow back that up. It's better to just get a DLC for base Xenoblade 2, because then you get all the other Xenoblade 2 DLC stuff with it. That makes sense. Alright. So what else do we want to get in the lake? I want to get some purples, I need to hit the item shop. Maybe like Captain Toad, there's that one free moon in town. The box moon, probably. <laughs> Both timer challenges. Right, so we're gonna warp up to here. We do the first timer challenge, and we're gonna jump down to the second timer challenge, and then that'll take us back to the bottom, and from there we can, like, do Captain Toad. Yeah, I've, I've got some semblance of a route in my mind for what I'm gonna do here. Let's 
So we're gonna jump down to here. And get that moon. And then... And Cappy comes back. Capture a fish. Then head down, get Captain Toad. I think this route makes some amount of sense. <laughs> this is the third game that we have encountered Captain Toad. Which is funny that this is a third- this is funny that, like, we- we've seen a lot of Captain Toad. Cause we encountered him in Galaxy... And in, uh, we played as Captain Toad in 3D World, and now we're doing another Captain Toad. Can't wait for Captain Toad to appear in the next game. Next game is 64DS, so... Don't think there's gonna be any Captain Toad there. <laughs> We will see Captain Toad in Galaxy 2. <laughs> Might as well be the Captain Toad. Yeah, count count the Captain Toad cameos. Kemto also appears in the same level as the champ. This is true. This is true. Jeez, stress. I have 14 moons here? Doesn't even really feel like I've done that much. I still got more to go. Well, okay, I think only actually one more moon to go. Alright, time to go to the shop. With our 20 regionals. I can find a goddamn entrance. It's here. Alright, we're going to the shop. We're gonna go buy. I'm gonna go buy the bottom half. Um, and two souvenirs. And by the you know the enemy Klepto does appear in only one level of all of Mario, the Hungry Luma Planet, and Hightail Falls. I did not know those enemies were called Kleptos. I know exactly what you're talking about. And those are very weird enemies. I had no idea that they were called Kleptos. Alright. Heading out a lake with, I think, 55 moons? We're halfway there, actually. We've got... I think we now have three each of top and bottom halves of outfits. And we just got another 20... Oh, 56. Uh, and now we have another 20 purple, so we're at 97 purple. So we're doing pretty well for ourselves. And we probably already have all the captures. Now, Wood Aid has a fuck ton of moons, so we're gonna get a lot of moons. And a lot of purples. I don't think I have any need to go in the deep woods. I think that's just gonna be slow, so I'm not gonna do that. Oh, I mean, what do I need? Like, 55-ish moons, so probably something like 20 to 25 here, and then like 15 in Lost, and then the rest in Metro. That actually probably doesn't leave enough for Metro, but whatever. Let's go 
in some perps here just for the sake of uh buying more outfits and stuff and, and stickers and souvenirs. Do you want to catch the bunny? Oh man. They appear in the Super Mario mashup in Minecraft replacing the frogs. I did not know that. That's actually cool. Yo, hey there, Friskyus and Les. Welcome back to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Inconspicuous question if you have to give a specific percentage. Do you mean, like, time? Like, how much of stream will there be? Um... I will probably be streaming for another two to three hours. I don't know the exact time. But two to three hours. Um, because, yeah, I am... So, for those of you just coming in, what we're doing is we are... Or what I'm doing, I should say, uh, is I am... Getting quote unquote 100% in the 3D Mario series by getting 12.5% uh, in each of, uh, you know, the eight games I own. Because 1 8 times 8 is, in fact, 100%. So it's around 67%. Yeah, so I am on game number 6 of, uh, of 8, but this is the longest game, odd, or second longest game, and Galaxy 2 is my last game, which is going to take a while. I have to get 30 stars in that. And Galaxy 2 is pretty slow. So yeah, I would I would say, I mean, if you want to do percentage-wise of the 100%, I'm at about 70. Time-wise, I'm probably a little less than that. Give me money! I don't even know if I need more money, but give me it anyways. Nintendo clickbait us into thinking that Pikmin 4 would be playable. Um... In an in-person event, but it's only the Pikmin short movie until after launch? Oh, that kind of sucks. Uh, what am I thinking of? Oh, this is the one I'm thinking of. I, I do worry about that. Let's see, I'm thinking of a specific moon. And yeah, so one through here where you kill a fire bro and get a moon. This is a very 3D world style stage. It's just a hammer bro ambush. Same event I mean, I mean yeah, there's an event at there's an event at PAX, right? The Nintendo Live thing that's like vaguely tied to PAX. Or PAX West. Find funny you guys how Kleptos appear twice officially. Should I do the Kleptoed Moon? Or Kleptoed Star when I get to Galaxy 2? I don't think it's fast. Like, I don't think it's done in the any percent run. So I wasn't planning on getting that particular moon. It moon... I, every, I'm, I'm getting moons. I literally just said moon instead of star twice. I mean, you can see why, because I'm fucking... 
playing Gal or playing Odyssey. I fucking can't keep my Mario straight. Give the Kleptos justice. I feel like I should give the Kleptos justice by leaving them be and not stealing their shit, which is what I would be doing if I, you know, actually did the proper <laughs> star. It's clearly their natural habitat if they haven't appeared anywhere else in the mainline Mario game. I don't even think I need these purple coins at this point, but sure, why not? Kind of weird that they've never appeared in any Mario's been up. Yeah, you think they would at least appear, you know, in the fucking, like, in the background of a Mario Party 9 mini game or something, right? Like, I can totally imagine a, a Mario Party 9 or 10 mini game of, like, Stealing mini stars from the Kleptos. Why Mario Party 9? Uh, I think because Mario Party 9 is a Mario Party. Because I was thinking about Galaxy 2, and those two games came out, I think, around the same time. Like, I'm just trying to think of, like, like, I think it would be weird now if they brought them back, like, 13 years later, but I think Mario Party 9 came out, what, a year or two after Galaxy 2, so that would make the most sense to have a random Galaxy 2 character in it. Because, like, wouldn't it be weird if there was, like, you know, Mario Party 11 or whatever that's announced and comes out and it just randomly has this one fucking enemy that hasn't appeared in the game since, that appeared in one game in 2010? Like, that would be weird, but in 2012 that happening, and there hasn't been any other entries in the Mario Party series since, makes a lot more sense. Really? The lots of that fucked up this one, right? Whatever. I think this isn't, like, in any percent wrong, because I've made a lot of mistakes. Either way, Mario Party 9 sucked. Disagree. I knew this wouldn't take over. It still might! We still have to do all of Galaxy 2. You just voted to even it out. I appreciate that. Also, we're not done with Odyssey yet. We still got probably 20, 30 more minutes of Odyssey. Uh, basically, do you think it's worth it to get some of the moons that are, like, in the higher area of Woody Kingdom, or should I just bail now? Yeah. Oh, wait, I need to buy stuff first. Let me go do that. Uh, I don't want that, actually. I gotta... Alright, so I need the... I, I gotta do some alpha. So... Alright, so that's... That's my six souvenirs. Uh, and then... Sure, I'll just buy this outfit. Alright. So I think we have four complete outfits now. Which actually should be enough. Yeah, because it's 300 or 200 coins each. So, yeah, we've got plenty of money. Okay. I don't need to get any more purples now, so that's good. Um, I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, 
Because I have over 125 purples. I have six souvenirs. I definitely have enough capture. So I just need to get to 110 moons. I'm at 74. Um, and I need to get two more complete costumes. Okay, I can do that. Ten is garbage. I've only played ten once, and it was not in Amiibo Party mode, so I and it was not great. Mario Party Nine has really good mini games. Like I really, really like the mini. If you put the Mario Party Nine mini games on Mario Party 8's boards, that would be like one of the top tier Mario Party games. I don't think that's that much of a hot take to say that. And I think the idea of a boss battle minigame, where you're, like, beating a boss, but competitively, is pretty cool. And a lot of those boss minigames are very good. I don't know how those would fit in with, like, I don't know, a, a more standard Mario Party. But, um... Mario Party 9, I think it's a little trash. I mean, I'm not saying the car mechanic is good, I'd rather play traditional Mario Party. But for what it is mechanically, it's executed very well. You know, there are like those things that got passed around for like, you know, learn about you video games, you know, like favorite game, nostalgic game, and one of them was a game you love everybody hates. And Ah, damn it. And my pick for that was Mario Party 9, so... I think it gets a bit of a bad rep. Like, would I rather play Mario Party 8 than 9? Yeah, but... I guess I haven't gone back to 9 in a while. But I think I would have fun playing. And I think 10 just does everything worse. I did not know if I had made that or not. I mean, I will say, I have not had that much experience, to be fair, I have not had that much experience with Mario Party 10. I played it once because one of, like, some, some friend in college owned it, and I played it once. And I don't remember it being the best, I don't remember the minigames that well, but I don't own it myself, so... I love this outfit. I love the, the fashionable outfit, so I am actually just going to equip it. Double check to make sure I have the right amount of everything. Alright, we've got six. Alright, we've got six and six, which is what we're looking for. There's like a little over 40 of each. Did I get this moon? I did. Where am I? Uh, actually. No, wait, this is not where I want to be. I thought I was going to say actually right where I want to be, but it's not. I want to be here. So do some gardening. There was one flower bit that was missing.
Mario Party 10 cardboards have way worse pacing. I think I played the airship one in in Mario Party uh, 10, but I don't really remember. Klepto. Nice bonk, you idiot. I guess you should also double check the captures list, although, yeah, we are 12 out of 52. Yeah, that's way. That's over one fifth, let alone the one eighth we were aiming for. So yeah, it is, it is literally just moons at this point, I have everything else. And I guess I can also show you the souvenir list, we're at 6 out of 43, which is... Again, just over 1 eighth. So we're doing good there. That's gonna miss. Oh my god, I hate tree limbs! And she's specifically in this kingdom. They're fine in other kingdoms. Alright, can we survive this? Nope! <laughs> I tried. I think I, I didn't get Cappy back before I grabbed the moon, so I don't think there was ever any hope of actually surviving that. Alright, we are out of here. Alright, we've got, yeah, as I said, we have everything other than total moons, so how many moons do we need in Metro? I don't know exact number of moons I'm at. Actually, I can't see. Alright, I'll have to check when I get to Metro. Oh my god, that's a long comment that takes up the entire preview on the left. How many moons do I have? Please, I can't be- I just need to look at the fucking Odyssey. 88. So I need 22 moons in that draw. That is actually literally just any percent plus 2. Okay, so I just need to do any percent metro, and then one extra sub area. That does not sound that bad. I thought it was- oh fuck. I thought I was gonna like need to get peace in metro, but it doesn't look like it. It may- it might be- should I do festival anyways? Like, it might be fitting to do festival for the stream anniversary, but also it would definitely be slower than just... I don't know. Should I be a little slower to do festival for the celebration, or should I just go speed? Take your picture. Mario Party Night Side content is good and replayable. That 
was not the right direction, shit. The only side content in 8 is Amiibo Party. Yeah, Amiibo Party does seem annoying to have to use the Amiibo to roll every single time. Flip a coin? Alright, if anyone has stronger opinions than flip a coin, speak now. Uh, cause I will have to decide pretty soon. Cause it's gonna vastly change how I route Metro Kingdom. Hit the thing for the love of God. Bowser Party is too unbound. Yeah, Bowser Party does not look fun. Nine is the best mini game collection in the series. Nine's carvers are paced really well. Thanks to that being Magma Mind. Crazy good RNG that it kept doubling back on itself. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Alright, it's. I don't know if that picked up, but it said Tails, and Tails is not doing festival. Pets was doing festival, Tails was not, so I guess we're not doing festival. 10's boards are very bland, way too easy, way too quick to the point where you barely get any mini games and mini games get. You're not gonna get, you're, you're, you don't get 20 mini games in Mario Party 9. That's just not how that works, Yoshi. You get like 8? <laughs> it's not 10, I can tell you that much. Maybe more if you get lucky by landing on all the mini game and versus spaces, but it's not gonna be more than like 10 or 12. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna do any percent and I'll just add one random sub area. Cool, cool, cool. I could have the sub area that's right there, the manhole one, but I think that's a slower one, so I actually won't. Oh my god. I mean, to recapture you. No festival. Siri has spoken. And also chat for... If you wanted festival, you should have said something when I said, like, hey, speak now. I do, I find it really funny, and I know that the no left sign, left turn sign is for cars, not pedestrians, but like, in the route, you have to make a left turn where there's a sign that says no left turn. That's always been really, really funny. I don't know if that amuses anyone else as much as it amuses me, but it is hilarious to me. Also, I will do this sub area right here. If you hear my voice sound weird, it's because I'm shaking my pro controller. Is it Cloudborn the one with the airships? Because that's the one I played. I remember I remember it being fine. I don't remember loving or hating it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Actually, given that I'm here, I'm gonna do the old route order to finish. Where I warp to the top now. The, the, like, in, like, the 2017 route, you got the moon in that box and then warped here and did this, and then the newer beginner route, you go from that box over to Pauline, and then do some of the Pauline stuff, and then do this. But, we're just doing an older route. Because when I'm already in a sub area, it makes sense to warp out. Don't need to get coins because I'm good on those. Geronimo! That's not even close. I just landed on. I hate it when I'm just chilling at the cafe, eating lunch, and then some Italian plumber in a very weird outfit just comes crashing down from above and lands on my head. Hashtag relatable. <laughs> Not sure if you're about to play 4, 1, or 10, because they all suck. Yeah, so normally, so in the current route, you end here. Like, you end and warp back to the Odyssey from where I just was. In the older route, you did it this way. I've never played 4. I, of all those, I'd rather play 4, but I've never played it, so I don't know how good it is. 1 does not look fun to play, and 10 does not look fun to play. I also don't want to burn a hole in my fucking palm. <laughs> that is part of the consideration. <laughs> One is just like Mario Party was a very imbalanced game with how the mini games like steal coins from other players, all that kind of stuff. Yo, thank you so much for the raid, Evan. How was your stream? Toby, can you give Evan a shout out? Uh, I believe that's finished Mario Odyssey. Welcome in, Toby, Evan, Wurz, all Raiders, hope you had a good stream. How was Strawberry Jam? So we... You beat the advanced lobby? Why is beat in quotes? Did you use save states? So we've been doing a thing... That's 110. Alright, so, we've been doing a thing... Where uh, I have been getting for three years, three years. Oh, you haven't done the hard side. Got it. So today is my th three years anniversary. My first stream was well, technically three years ago yesterday, but I can say it's today. Uh, and um, what we're doing is we're getting a hundred percent in the three D Mario series uh, by getting uh, twelve point five percent or one eighth completion. Uh, in each of the, uh, component, uh, sorry, I'm switching my capture card from my Switch to my Wii U right now, so if things seem a little hectic, it's because they are. I just, did I just unplug it to play? Oh, no, never mind. Uh, I'm on the wrong source on my... TV right now. Uh, sorry. I have to switch over capture cards. But yeah, we're doing, uh, one-eighth of each of the, uh, 
Yeah, we're doing one eighth of each of the three Marios I own. So let me get this up, uh, and also let me get timer up. So yeah, as you can see, we have done uh, Mario 64. Got 15 of the 120 stars. We did Mario Sunshine. Got an eighth of the blues and an eighth of the shines. We did Mario Galaxy 1. We did 3D World. Got, you know, an eighth of the green stars and an eighth of the... Sorry, you came in at a weird time where I had to switch consoles. <laughs> uh, where we got an eighth of the green stars and an eighth of the... Uh, eighth of the stamps. We did Bowser's Fury. We got an eighth of the cat shines. We just finished Odyssey where we got 110 moons, as you saw. One eighth of all of them. And then we got... Um, let me change the game. And we got one eighth of the souvenirs, purple coins, and outfits as well. Alright. Categories updated. We're doing a cutscene. Like I said, you can see roughly how long everything is taken on stream by these splits. But yeah. I was gonna take a break after Odyssey, but you literally raided as I was finishing Odyssey. So I guess I'll do 64DS and then take the break, because it should only take like 15-20 minutes. So for this game, if you want to see all the things I've done, you can type exclamation mark rules. It'll be linked to a Google Doc that has all the information you need. Um... Also, I just realized Galaxy took longer than- uh, no. Mario Odyssey took two minutes longer than Galaxy. But yeah, that's the timing on everything that's been done. As you can see. And now we need to get... There are 150 stars in this game. One-eighth of those. I'm rounding everything up. So one-eighth of those is 19. So we need to get 19 stars, which I can do relatively quickly because I do speedrun this game. Uh, and then the game also tracks one other thing, which is the rabbits that appear in the castle that you can collect for to get mini games. So there are 28 of those. Uh, we need to get four, because that is one-eighth rounded up. Alright. Sorry, I'm sitting back down now. I'm playing a game. The category's correct. I realize with this layout, I don't... <clears throat> I put the thing that Toby drew, uh, the three-year celebration thing, I put that on the main layout. Uh, unfortunately, it's not on this layout, and I don't really have time to add it to this layout, but... It'll be back on the layout for Galaxy 2. Because <laughs> I just added an image, and the 64 DS layout looks different, because it's meant to have splits, and also the dimensions of a DS game are different. <laughs> I did, yeah. Was not expecting. I, I, you know, I, I, I had a lot of time during cutscenes in various games to like think about what I was gonna do. So during the, during the intro to the Galaxy Tomorrow Galaxy One, I had time. I'm like, sure, let me just at least bring the image up on stream so stream can see it. Uh, and then I decided with chat's help that I would just keep it there. Anyways, congratulations on being the advanced lobby, Evan. Is advanced? Three of five or four of five? I never remember. Because I know there's beginner, intermediate, and grandmaster as one, two, and five. And then there's advanced. Is it expert is number four? Because I guess I can't intuitively tell between advanced and expert which one of those is like harder. You looked an expert for the first time? You've done a grandmaster one or two, right? Extra has 29 maps? Holy shit, it's so big. That mod is so big. Advance at 25. How many does Grandmaster have? Eighteen? Okay, that's not as bad. You've 
done three Grandmasters? Okay, so you're one-sixth of the way done with Grandmaster. Uh, not including Heartside, which I'd imagine Grandmaster Heartside is just... Pain. And pure pain. Oh shit, I did not mean to ledge drive there. Well, good thing this isn't a speedrun, because that would be a reset. I actually had to resist the urge to press the reset button on my computer, because I would reset these entire splits. <laughs> Would not be surprised if Grandmaster Heart said it takes you 30 hours on its own. Yeah, that would probably not surprise me either. Back to re yep, very much regular 64. Definitely not a different version of the game. Did I put the category wrong? Did I accidentally put the normal 64 category instead of 64 DS? No, it's yes. Okay. Simon scared me for a bit. Oh, if I reset the entire splits. Oh yeah, then we'd go back to the start. I think I'd be better at- I'd do better at the earlier stuff. I don't think, like, Galaxy and Bowser's Fury would be that much better, but, like... 64 and Sunshine would go better a second time. Definitely Sunshine. Yeah, so f oops. So far, a few things aside, I had a lot of. I was doing the blooper one in Mario Sunshine, and I died like five times on it and took a game over. And then I had a couple deaths in. I think I had one death in Galaxy and a couple deaths in 3D World. Um, other than in 64 was also a little sketchy, but not terrible. I think this has been going reasonably well. I think Odyssey went pretty well. I think I died, I maybe died once, because I failed Jaxi skip once, but... I think an hour and seven minutes for 110 moons, plus purples and shot buying stuff is pretty good. It felt like a- it, I mean, it very much felt like a bingo, with how much, like, stuff I was trying to keep track of, and the amount of stuff I was doing, and, you know, hour seven minutes is about the right general time for a bingo. It's just that I was, you know, going for very specific- I was just going for moons in general instead of, like, specific goals, but... Bingo definitely helped for, like, purple coin locations and, uh, just moon locations in general. I'm not playing very well right now, but I'm also 4 hours and 40 minutes in. That is true, the Joy-Con emote is the guy that started it all. That was my original emote uploaded about 3 years ago. <laughs> I'm so good at video games, guys. Dear lord. I swear I'm good at this game. I feel like my roommates would ask a lot of questions if I just have a printout of the Apple 38 Joy-Con on my fridge. Hey, me the gamepad, I'm an expert. I mean, you've got a practice run under your belt. Surely the second one would go a lot better. He's the guardian of the fridge now. But yeah, the the um. Oh my god, I did not want to talk to you. Wait, 
Okay, what was I gonna say? What was I saying? Um, yeah, the first email. So my first stream, J uh, June fifteenth. So three years and a day ago. I'm not doing this on the exact anniversary just because I uh, didn't want to do a super long stream on a Thursday. I figured more people could watch if it was on a Friday. Uh, and then secondly. Uh, I guess my affiliate anniversary is June 29th, apparently, but you can kind of set your affiliate celebration date to be anywhere within two weeks, so I just set it for today, because there's no point for me, because it's so close together. Yeah, you can manually change the day. You have- you can set it to any time within two weeks of your actual day. And so I just set it for today, because I figured there's no real point in me having a separate... Yeah, if you if you look in the settings, you can figure out how to do it. If you ever want to do an affiliate anniversary, like, and you want to do it not on the actual day, just go for it. Um, but it has to be within two weeks. But I figured because my stream anniversary and affiliate anniversary is within two weeks anyways, and Twitch for some reason only lets you celebrate affiliate and partner anniversaries, not, um... Not stream anniversaries. So I just like, well, I'm not gonna do a separate thing for affiliate. I might as well put that for today also and just, you know, you get party hats and stuff and it probably doesn't make that much of a difference, but it might as well just see what it's like, you know? But yeah, as I said, the um affiliate anniversary is June 29th. And that was before they added a bunch of emote slots for free, so I only had one emote slot at the time. Uh, and so I had that Joy-Con emote, which comes from a webcomic that one of my college roommates made of our suite. It was called, like, The Sweet Life or something, and everyone was, like, various food items that sounded vaguely like their names. Um... Then you talk to this toad to activate the rabbits, which I'll catch at the end. Uh, so yeah. That is... So, yeah, for the, for the sweet, and I was an apple, because I'm an apple singer. So I'm like, hey, there, and there was like, a, there was a comic about essentially me procrastinating on doing homework. And like, in that I was playing Switch games. So there was just an apple holding a joy and I'm like, hey, can you send me that? I want to use it as a Twitch emote. He's like, sure. So, that is, uh... I mean, I've had the username named Applesinger forever, like, way before that existed. I've had the username named Applesinger in some form since 2010. Um... But I'm like, sure, I'll use the Joy-Con emote. And like, to be honest, at the time it was more or less a placeholder emote. Cause like I figured it maybe I commissioned stuff eventually. But then uh you needed to get I think it's 15 subs to get a second emote slot unlocked, which is so much higher, because most affiliates don't really have much of any as far as I know. I don't know if it was how do how do you even come up with it? Come up with the name Apple Singer. Uh, I'll explain that a bit. Sorry, one story at a time. I gotta explain that a bit. I don't know if it was born exactly on June 29th. I probably didn't upload it until a few days after because I had to like email him and ask him for files and upload things, and it wasn't instant approval and all that stuff. It was probably like early July, but I don't know for sure. Uh, anyways, yeah. So then. I did not get more- you need 15 subs. I did not get that amount until, I think, April or May... I think May 2021. I think it took basically a full year after, uh... It took a full year after being affiliate almost until I had enough subs to unlock another email slot. And that was, once again, that was just basically through pure gifted sub spam. I think I've, the most I've had is like 35, and that was very brief. It's enough to get all but the last emote slot. I still don't have my last emote slot unlocked. There is there is one more, um, but given I think I'm currently at three or four subs, <laughs> uh, it's definitely less than five subs right now. So we're very far off from unlocking that last emote slot. So unless I, 
please do not drop like two hundred fifty dollars for fifty gift subs. But yeah, uh, um, unless something like that happens, we're not getting another emote slot for a while. So yeah, that that's the Joy-Con saga, and also kind of where I am emote wise. Once I got to another email slot, that's when I started commissioning stuff from Toby, and then there was like, I think it was a, I think it was a few, two or three emotes that were originally commissioned. I think it was Pog and Rage and maybe one other. Do not support Twitch capitalism. I think it was like Pog and Rage and maybe one other. If you have a Prime sub though, use that, because Prime subs are not like, you don't have to spend extra money on those. That's just taking money directly out of Twitch's pockets. So that's like, that's how you protest Twitch capitaling is by only using Prime subs. Uh, anyways. Oh yeah, I think it was Love. Thank you for using it. I think it was the Love emote, the Rage emote, and the Pog emote were commissioned. Uh, because I think I got like, I think I got up to 25 at one point, so I need more emotes. Then, I think I, I think for that for a while, I didn't commission any actual emotes for a while. I think I just kind of, Toby drew a bunch of emotes. Like, the Confuse emote definitely was something that wasn't commissioned. It was just Toby randomly drew it, and I just used it. Uh, and then when follower emotes came out, I commissioned a bunch of stuff for follower emotes. Because it was also... It, Oh yeah, because it went because it was follower emotes and like increased sub emotes. I think I went from having three emotes lost to like including follower emotes like thirteen in the span of a week. So that was a second wave of commissions. I think like I think the the singer hydrate. The Death one, at the Apple 38 F1, maybe one other got commissioned during that time period. I think, like, Sad and... I think, like, Sad and Confused were just drawn in the interim and I just used them. Oops, that's not great. Okay, I missed that coin, but that's fine. I had one extra. Oh yeah, the high emote was also around that time. Forgot about that one. Also, yeah, no, that you that that was yeah, no, because because everyone got more emote slots because the follower emotes plus extra. <laughs> I don't think Smug- I think Smug was one of the ones that wasn't a commission. I think Smug was something you just drew. I think- cause I- I do think it was only three at first, cause I didn't have more emote slots in there. So I think it would have just been Love, Rage, and Pog. For- cause I only had three emote slots. And I think you- I think Confuse, Sad, and, and Smug were just drawn. And then I liked Smug so much I made it my profile picture. <laughs> Which honestly makes me feel kind of weird using it as an emote now, because I just associate it with my profile picture. <laughs> but I do think it is a good PFP and a good emote. I mean, love Apple with an ego. Yeah, I don't really- I feel like I don't have that much of an ego, IRL. Alright, anyways, Apple Singer Lore, somebody was asking for Apple Singer Lore behind a username, which is also something I've talked about on stream before, and I'm happy to talk about it again. And also, I did just do speedruns not that long ago, so this is not anything new. I'm just basically following my 80 star route until I get 19 stars. Um, but yeah, so this came from, I believe, either 6th or 7th grade. Uh, we had to, we had like a middle school technology class, and we had to make accounts for some website to use as part of the class. I think it was like Type Racer or something. Uh, and a science teacher told us, hey, alright, pick a username that... I know who you are, but, um, is, like, not your real name, or have any part of your real name in it. Uh, and 
is like, you know, internet safety stuff, I guess. You have a god complex? True. Because, uh, you know, like, random internet safety stuff. So, in one way he recommended doing so was doing initials. So, I'm like, alright, my initials are AS, so I wanted an E word and an S word. Apple actually had some significance to me, because, um, before I was born, it was in some sense Apple was my very first nickname, because it's a nickname that's older than I am. Uh, before I was born, uh, my parents knew that they wanted, uh, me to have a name, uh, that started with an A, because... Uh, my grandfather has a name starting with an A, so they were, like, naming me after him. Not his exact name, but at least named after. Uh, and they didn't- and before they, you know, when my mom was pregnant, before they knew what gender I was, uh, they just called me Apple as, like, a, a essentially a placeholder nickname. Before they, you know, knew what kind of a name to pick. So, so that's the Apple part of it. And the singer was honestly, I just had to make up a username in like 30 seconds and kind of panicked and was like, I don't fucking know. I need a random S word. And singer just sounded good. Like Apple singer just kind of rolled off the tongue while I'm like, screw it, we'll roll with that. Why not? Thinking, you know, this is just one username for a fucking middle school tech class. And then, you know, later that year... Like, I don't sing, as, as is made clear by the fact that I don't really sing on stream. Like, it's just a fucking username. And it was just literally a random ass word that I just needed to pick something now. So then... Singer... So then... So that's what, uh... So that's where that came from. And then... Like, I think a few months later or something like that, I started joining various internet forums. Like, I found an internet forum that I wanted to join. Uh, it, which is, you know, I was in, I, I was, I was in seventh grade at the time. It was like, you know, my first ever internet forum that I was being a part of, so I needed to pick a username, and I'd never really had to do anything like that before. And I was like, well, you know, there's that Apple Singer name that I had for that science website. Might as well use that. And that was in 2010. And, uh, then I kind of rolled with that, and then gradually, you know, I created more and more websites, and more and more usernames, like, alright, I need, like, you know, a Steam username, and a Discord username, and a Twitch username when I join all these platforms, and, yeah, that's, I just kind of stuck with it, because I always thought it rolled off the tongue pretty well, it's a username that's, like, Reasonable, it's like, it's reasonably, it's reasonable, but it's also like not something that's usually taken on most websites. Like, I didn't have much of a trouble, like, I didn't have any trouble getting Apple Singer as a username on like Twitch, despite not, it's, it's two common English words, but it's not stuff that's like put together that often. So, like, I don't have Apple Singer on Twitter, but I have it on, you know, Twitch, I have it on the new Discord usernames, I have, I think I have with an underscore on Steam, because. Back when I first joined the internet stuff, it was like, you always have an underscore between stuff, but at some point it's like, eh, camel case is probably better than underscore. Deciduous Griffin Mountain. That is an interesting set of words. 250 sub Apple sings on stream? Sure, if I get 250 subs, I will sing something on stream. That's fair. <laughs> I think we're, as I said, I think we're currently less than five, so we're, you know, just like 240-something subs off from that, but yeah, if, if we get that, I will sing on stream. You got it, Les. Oh my god, rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Let me win the lottery real quick. <laughs> also, Responder, I saw your question about on pace for sub six. Uh, definitely not, because Galaxy 2 is going to take longer than an hour, because we have to get 30 stars, and that game is not the fastest. It might still be. 
there's there's a prediction running about whether it'll be faster or slower than last year's, which was about six and a half hours. I think that's going to be very close. All right, so we got our 19 stars. We got our four mini game rabbits. So that's time. I'm gonna pause the timer because I need to take a break. Uh, so that's time for 64DS. Um, that actually took a little longer than I thought it would because I died a couple times. And also, switching the capture card took some time. Deciduous Griffin Mountain is a biome on the server you play in Ark and it spawns griffins? No way. Uh, anyways, also, here is the layout that has the, the apple on it. Toby, there's that layout. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go to BRB screen, uh, cause as I said, I need to take a break. I'm gonna- I'll enter the castle so you at least have music during break, cause there's no music in the courtyard. Let me at least enter the castle. Alright. So, I need to go on break and run some quick ads so people coming in don't get pre-rolls. I'll be back in three minutes for Mario Galaxy 2. I'm including setup time as part of the timer, so... You will not see... When I come back, I'll still be on 64DS screen. Um, but yeah. Or at least I'll, I'll be on VR. I'll restart the timer when I start switching over to Galaxy. Um, but yeah. Thanks so much again for the raid, Evan. I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, see you for the last game of the 8. We're going to be taking on Galaxy 2, which is my second favorite of all of the games. So it should be a lot of fun. Looking forward to playing it again.
Hello, I'm back. Uh, I'm gonna stay on BRB stream for a bit, uh, but I'm gonna unpause the timer and get set up. Also, uh, I'm gonna just say it in advance. Volume warning? I did just lower the volume of the game considerably, but the Wii U system- the Wii menu is a lot louder than the Wii U menu, so I don't know if this is quite the right volume, so just... Volume warning in advance. I'm gonna restart the timer, and I'm going to... Uh, go back to the Wii U menu. And get my Wii remote! <sighs> hey there, trash can. Welcome back to the stream, hope you're doing well. Alright, my remote is connected! It's a little loud. I haven't gotten to the Wii menu yet. This is just the Wii U menu. <laughs> Volume warning right about now. Once this loads. Alright. Mario Alright, how's the volume? Is it good? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Oh, wrong split. There we go. Fine. Alright. Go start up our Galaxy 2 file. Uh, we'll use Yoshi again, because that's what we use for the Galaxy 1 file. And let's rock and roll. Also, let me get the splits back up so that the timer actually updates. Alright! Should be all set. Yeah, I know. As I said, any time that the, um... Any time that the, the, the live split window is not up front... Uh, I have to... Uh, I can't... Like, the timer will not update. It's not frozen, it's just the entire window is not updating. And it's not updating, yeah, it's just not gonna be updating. Yeah, I do like the storybook kind of opening. Also, I mean, it feels so weird to play on the nunchuck joystick versus the, uh, like, Procon joystick. It is just so much smaller. I can spin! Is less than 6 hours possible? I don't think I can get 30... I need to get 31 stars, and also some amount of Comet Medals, but the Comet Medals will come for free. I need to get 31 stars, which I don't think is possible to do in this game in under an hour. Now, I could still beat the time, uh... Because the target is not under 6 hours, the target is under last year's time, which was 6.5. There could be a chance I beat that, I'm not 100% sure. And honestly, I don't know how long Galaxy 2 will take. This was always going to be the longest game. Uh, just because, like, for Galaxy 1, even though there's technically 242, like, the, in, like, the multi-Mario stuff, it's always a 120, just because you don't want to do the same thing twice. Also, why is Bowser so big in this game? I don't get it. Um, but... For Galaxy 2, it's always 242. So instead of taking, instead of getting 15 stars, which I could definitely, which I could potentially do, uh, in under, which I could, you know, potentially do in under an hour. Although Galaxy 1, 15 stars was just over an hour, but this game also has fewer cutscenes at the start, so I don't know. Uh, this game, yeah, I'm not. I need to do 31 stars, so it could be another two hours still. Game actually explains that. Oh, he's using the Grand Star power. That does actually make sense. So why didn't that happen in the first game? Everybody's 1-2 Switch has 100 player support. Like, online or locally 100 player. Bowser was not as smart in the first game. He hadn't made that scientific advancement yet. Fair enough. It really does feel weird to be using a Wiimote. 
Also, it does. It is weird to have non HD graphics. I mean, you know, I just played 64 DS, which has graphics that look worse than this. But after just playing Galaxy One, it does look weird. It uses. Oh, it uses phones. Ah. So that means somebody can like stream it, and then you can play up to 100 players. I'm still not gonna collect Starbits here, uh, because I think it's gonna be a waste of time. However, I believe I should have access to my Bank Toad, which has 9999 Starbits in it. So I should be able to do a lot of the Hungry Luma Galaxies. No, not Wall Jump Up. Oh, well, that's a problem. I can okay. There we go. Let's fly! Oh my god. Gravity! Why do we have these tiny ass planets? If only this was in 3D All Stars. Yeah, I still don't know why it isn't. <laughs> Things that, to be fair, as I've said many times, I will never understand any decisions that Nintendo makes. Uh, I need to ride this platform. Whoop. Well, that's not how you do that. Let's do it this way. I'm being slow, but I need to ride the platform to get the Comet Medal. I only need to get seven Comet Medals for, like, the all collect- for the one-eighth of collectibles run. However, it will help me to get as many Comet Medals as I can, because that makes more, uh, prankster comments appear. And those are going to be quicker stars that I start to unlock, like, halfway through World 3, and that's going to be faster than, you know, doing out all of World 3. A very long bonk. That was the world's, like, longest jump into a bonk. The horse is named MC Horus. Yeah, that sounds about right. Watching is remind me how bad the movement is in Galaxy games. The movement is not as good as, you know, say, Odyssey. I still don't know if I'd call it bad. And I just find these games a lot of fun to play. Yeah, I don't know why this game is limited time either, but... As I said, yeah, Nintendo not making logical decisions. Also, Mario 35 should not have been limited time. I know there's a way to, like... Okay, I don't know how that works. You can... Normally, if you, if you spin him, normally you get, like, all three... You, you, it takes, like, three spins to crack the eggshell off, but doing it like that it only takes one. I did hear they're showing in Pac-Man 99. I guess Tetris 99 is the only one that's gonna survive, right? Actually, wait, did they shut down that, too? I don't fucking know. Yeah, at least it's not too bad to get 3D All-Stars physically. Who actually played I never played Pac-Man. I actually I played Pac-Man 99 very quickly and I never really had that much fun with it. Hi Lubba. Yeah, I don't think I really play Pac-Man 99 past the first one. I still, every so often, I'll play a game of Tetris 99 or two. I would definitely still play Mario 35. Okay. I like the options of that's right and yes, because we have so much of a choice here. Spaceship shape! Woo, bad puns! Let's go! It's time for Face Ship Mario, which looks a little bit more like Luigi, but... It kind of looks like a hybrid of Mario and Luigi. More like a face ship! Ah ha ha ha! Alright, this cutscene. Funniest thing I've heard this is shit, I need to change the game. I never did that. Ah, panic. 
This ain't Mario 64 DS. Alright. Yes, I know the timer's frozen. I'm fixing that. Let me just fly the galaxy first. Uh... I like this red arrow that only appears at this specific point. I need to go back and do Space Station 2, or Sky Station 2, because I don't really feel like doing the, uh, lack of 2 fight thing. I know speedrunners will do Yoshi Star 2, because there's a skip with the Yoshi Infinite Flutter. I don't know how to do that, so I'm just gonna stay out of Yoshi Star, because I'm not very good at that boss fight. And you only need, you need three stars to get past, the uh, that star, that star block, so I'll just do it this way. Does this dude have the key? Oh Please hit the- that's me! I'm good at video games. There we go. Isn't the infinite flutter just timing? I've- I've never been good at it. I'm sure that people can do it. I'm just not good at it myself, so I'm not going to do it. Hi, Cashmere! Funniest thing I've heard this second. Oh yeah, Face Ship is super funny. Top tier comedy. Where's the entrance to this area? Well, I can get the star. You can bring Yoshi into the final boss with Yeah, that's true. Can you also do like... Can you also get to the end of Champion's Road with Yoshi as part of Infinite Flutter? Or with Infinite Flutter? Not as part of it, but by using Infinite Flutter. You can destroy the amps with the star? I never... I don't think I've ever done that before. God damn it. Really? Now that I think about it, both Mario Galaxy games have a section in the second... Or the have a section that is in the second star you can get that is flip switches in like random elements of space because galaxy one has this section in, in good egg one technically i guess you don't have to do this star oh my god i was not expecting a triple jump there you really need to see that final grand star scene with yoshi Amp player 2. I'm sure somebody's done it before. It just is obnoxious because you would have to like dismount Yoshi every time you need to ground pound the meteor. I wonder if there's even something. Oh my. I wonder if there's even something I like, coded for that. You remember all these power ups? Which ones? Responsibility is right there. <laughs> I was like, can I make it? No, I cannot. Alright, start two. Maybe. <laughs> I've only seen it with either player two or Yoshi. I mean, speedrunners will have player two in there, so any speedrun probably has a player two. Spring or Ghost Mario? I don't think we'll be seeing either of those, actually, because they don't appear until later worlds. I don't plan on going past world, uh... Oh, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of player 2. I don't plan on going past world 3. And Spring Mario is until world 4. I think Boo is until world 5 or 6. No, 5? Five, five? Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, it's more fun to try to skip using Spring Mario than actually use Spring Mario. Yoshi, on the other hand, a lot of fun to use. We will be seeing a lot of the Yoshi power-ups, so the bulb, we'll probably see Bulb Fruit and, uh... The Dash Pepper for sure in Hytale Falls. Maybe the the bulb, or sorry, blimp fruit. Bulb, bulb is bulb blimp fruit, bulb berry. The uh, the blimp fruit is uh 
is in Tall Trunk. And the Bullberry is in, uh, Haunty Halls. Probably don't need- I- Cause World 3- Also, is this the only game where Yoshi has, like, significant dialogue? It looks very weird having that much dialogue as Yoshi, not gonna lie. Camera, where are you going? I am pulling back game. What the fuck do you want from me? I guess I need to physically walk backwards a bit more. Alright, maybe I'll actually get service on this planet. Yeah, I, 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 I realize SMW. I guess SMW feels different to me because it's like... Also, I'm pretty sure this is like the same planet that's in Good Egg 2. We got- I- I- somebody was here earlier today. This is like functionally the same planet as the one that the Hungry Luma turns into in Good Egg 2, right? I mean, slightly different layout of stuff, but same overall planet design. I think it's different when it's a message box versus an actual speech bubble coming out as Yoshi. Or like, you know, Yoshi saying, oh, like, the message at Yoshi's house. Like, something about that feels materially different to me. Also, this music is so good. Yeah, both galaxies have really good soundtracks, as we talked about in Galaxy 1, but it's just as applicable here. Yeah, she probably would have died like in spin-offs, maybe. How am I 17 minutes into the split already? I only have three stars. Yeah. Alright, it looks like I'm averaging about three minutes- the timer per star is about three minutes per. And then maybe another minute... Just for like the other stuff, like cutscenes between, so maybe it's four-ish minutes per star? And I have to get 30, so that's about two hours. Yeah, this might be two hours just for Galaxy 2, I don't know. I hope things get faster, but... I guess if I get to some of the prankster comments stuff, that'll get faster. I don't... I don't know service right now to feed that Hungry Luma, but I probably will do that later once I get Banker Toad and can actually feed the Hungry Luma without having to, like, however many hundreds of servants he wants. Alright, take a leg! How do I get to where I need to go? Here. No, I killed one of the pylons. This is a kind of shitty comment middle- Oop, I didn't- Not really want to talk to you immediately, actually. I kind of forgot that you just do this. I guess that's one way to do it, but you really can just- Fuck. I need to stop interrupting my sentences with swear words. Because sometimes you get- You can really just fuck. 
which is maybe not what I intended to say. <laughs> you can, you just need to go on that one. You don't need to like go up here first or whatever. Oh my God, can I land? I'm too centered. Find the others. I'll work on that. I remember how fast. Oh God, I'm dead. Well, that's not what I want to have happen now, is it? I'm saying I don't remember how fast uh, Spindig 2 is. Oh, come on, dude! <laughs> not again! At least I'm dying right next to checkpoints, but... It doesn't make it any less annoying. Fun fact, these six coins right here make it impossible to beat this game completely coinless, because you have to do Spin Dig 1. And when you do the launch star, kind of the pullback of the launch star takes you directly into those coins. There's a way to get up there, but I'm not sure how. I'm trying to triple jump, but that's kind of annoying. God damn it, Goomba. There may be another spot where there's a mandatory coin, but that definitely is a spot where there's a mandatory coin. Whatever, I'll just do this the slow way.